Hello, children and adults around the world. Merry Christmas from us and Surfshark. Surfshark, VPN provider, always say... <laughs> What's funny? Always safe, keeping you private. You can use it as a browser extension or just an app. It's good on both. I'm going to read the ad. Sleep in heavenly peace. The first two things you think about when you think of Christmas is surfing and sharks. It's a VPN app and browser extension which basically allows you to put yourself anywhere in the world. So whether you be here, in Britain, away from the rest of the world, or away in the rest of the world. So you'll go, hey, let's go to America because, for instance, I want to access some content which is only available within the United States of America. You'll put Surfshark on and then from there you can watch your Netflix, you can watch your other platforms, you can watch all sorts of things that maybe you can't watch while you're in the UK or somewhere else in the world. That's Surfshark. It also allows you to encrypt your data and remain anonymous online. It basically makes you look like this. That was a reenactment of Jesus' birth. Of course, the best gift you can give this Christmas is Surfshark to all your family. So on Christmas Day, a day like this, make sure your family walk down and see Surfshark under their tree. Figuratively speaking, as it's a app and browser extension. Now, in this following podcast, Jackmate says this. I wouldn't spit in his mouth. Alex says this. Oh, Daddy Daniels. turns up and he's a frog. And Stephen looks like this. <laughs> they all want you to download Surfshark. So head over to the link in the description, enter promo code Geordie and get the amazing Surfshark deal that's 84% off and four extra months free. Thank you very much. And now it's time for a Christmas story. It was the night before Christmas and in the locked in house, not a jackmate could be heard for reasons that we can't disclose. It was a YouTube big brother. Locked in, that's it. Oh, Lo Jack went show. in. So something happened in there, so I had to leave. I I, I left pretty, pretty ASAP. So you, like, how, how many days were you in? I was in there for an hour, Stephen. <laughs> Welcome back to the True Jordy Podcast Christmas special. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! We are covered because this is our job, and there is a thing that the government did release yeah, saying but, but, that video shoot days are still allowed. That's true. So, yeah. I'll cheers to that, to that everybody. Yeah. Buy a camera, hang out with your mates. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Loz can say anything, and no one can cancel him. I've realised that. Because <laughs> people switch off when he talks. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Don't know that's way. so true. It, Why have you turned into a breakfast radio DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I had some girl ask me once to say something dirty, so I went, spit in my mouth. Oh. And she went, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the more I watch the crowd, the more I realise just what a fucking load of shit the royal family is. It's, a it's mess, just one big it? piss up. And they just sit and cream off the top, get all the money, no one questions them. To be fair, and Andrew, Andrew creams on top. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so she wanted a bit of sexy talk. Yeah, and I really struggled. Yeah, my voice isn't sexy. Yeah, I, I used to do my own hands, it's terrible. <laughs> Your form is woeful, but your tits are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the two on top are doing very well. And over the Christmas period, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Belle very Delphine, good, very send good. me a car. She gave me uh, a used butt plug. Really? Yeah. Wow. I've got Whoa. a butt plug on Mr. Potato Head. My mate pulled it off. The engineers came around the other day. The, the electricians. What the fuck's going on? And I'm going, mate! I've lost them. I've stop lost looking them. at the butt plug. I did yeah. that for a Simon video. I did that, I did that to make Toby just laugh. Wait, Why are you watching us? Here's to you, uh, big star. One, two, three. <laughs> Are we, are we rolling? Yeah, it was. It was rolling? meant to be you versus me, wasn't it? Uh, welcome back to the Trudy Audio Podcast Christmas special. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Thank everyone. You. I'll get that. The family. Thank you for that. Merry Christmas, Christmas to all. Cheers, cheers. And cheers. to all at the cheers, night. Will. Oh, cheers. cheers, Will. I can't reach that. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Everyone's here. Cheers. Everyone who cared to come is here. Oh, um, first XO, now the Christmas podcast. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, <laughs> what, is this Is this just a me and you thing, Stephen? Do you think Will just doesn't... <sighs> I am part of that as well. <laughs> I, I got that vibe on the tour. Halfway through, he said, you could fuck off, Stephen. It's yeah. me or you. Stay here. Uh, for those who are Turns wondering, no, I'm uh, Will is under the weather. So, you know, regulations and all that will be, will Very be safe true. today. Stay safe, Will. Um, he's a lightweight anyway, isn't he? He's he is, he's yeah. Like me. You know? Hardcore. No, see, I've got all the symptoms and I braved it anyway. COVID. <laughs> we got one of the... I didn't know that. The E-lads. Um, we got the relevant one. <laughs> yeah. Got the relevant one. We but did it's always in the news. This one, so that's the the most important one. Yeah, it's been a big year for you, actually, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah I took four months off, Florence. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Who didn't? Though? That's standard for me, really. really. Right. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? That's called a writing week. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's have an argument. Who got the most oppressed this year? Yeah. Oh, that's a 
That's a great Ooh, question. Not you, right? Jack was weirdly <laughs> productive this year, sort of annoying that. He's yeah, been no, he he thrives. quite good this year. Yeah, when I had no competition because everyone was stuck, I was like, I'll do something now. Yeah. Did we yeah. not see Stephen Tries podcast biro pens the other day? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. No one did. No. Biro yeah, pens. My lowest point we was... We've run out of topics. Seeing, uh, <laughs> Sorry, we were joking, Alex. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd say my lowest what point. What was the lowest point? When I was my closest to the edge. When I saw Happy Hour got the Spotify deal mm. and mm. no check sent my way. After oh, jealousy is oh, an ugly yeah. emotion. Did you not get like a, you know how like you were kind of a founder? Did you not get like a kickback? Like a residual sort of thing. <laughs> no, I was that useless. I said no something, point. but it bounced. Yeah. Yeah. So. We need to get you on the contract. <laughs> yeah. now from Anyone that who cares about their other creators tends to cut them in on the... Why have you gone for a toffee finger, Alex? That's a rogue choice. Yeah. I don't know. Says something about your personality. Not a good podcast. So <laughs> no. It really isn't a good podcast. Please. I Maddox loves a toffee finger. No. The no, re- yeah. Up the toffees. Now tell me about I never. Why isn't he in the E Boys? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can't just say because of his personality, because yeah. that won't wash with me. Or his brother, child. Yeah. Child. Never. <laughs> Good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That does imply his name's I though. Child. Yeah. yeah. What is his name? Fraser. Oh yeah, Fraser. Oh, Fraser. Yeah. Come on. Why do you call yourself I'm Alex? Um, because I am Alex, really, Lawrence. Ale- Alex was fine. Could have just stuck with that. Yeah. No, no, because you couldn't get the username in. Who, who's the, who's the original Alex then? Mm. Probably the Great. Alex the Great. Yeah, yeah. that's Honestly, what they used to call him. Play. Yeah. I'm gonna need a straw for this. My beard's going to fuck already. Have we got that's any same. straws? Same. Yes. You know that the thing I love about that is two people behind the camera went fuck. <laughs> this is going to be a shit show. No, it's uh, not. No, stay tuned. No, historically, this is the one that gets edited out the most by mm. a mile. But that's because Will really used to. I say else. bad things. But Will used to sit there and go, "We can't say that." Genuinely, so now Will's it's actually kind of good that Will's not here because normally we have to edit half an hour of stuff that he's like, "I'll get sued." But we will all get cancelled. Well, that's fine. You I can't mean, cancel me after I did Madeline McCandle. If you allow that to slide. <laughs> Everything else is golden. I've got to say, shout out to Gymshark as well, sponsor of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, big, big year for them, massive year for Gym them. Gymshark, mm. sort of, you big know. year for me as well. And um, Surfshark, mm. oh, all the sharks, <laughs> yeah. all the sharks, yeah, all the VPNs, yeah. 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 any of the sharks, yeah. mm. Hammerhead, yeah, <laughs> the um, Hammer my head. <laughs> the cheap we'll stuff be better. This. Actually, the cheap stuff is better than the um, yeah. posh stuff. The cheap stuff sweeter is mm. what I worked out. Yeah, much you going. I find that Once with hookers as well. Once went to a wedding where the guy didn't like champagne, so we had everyone have Ribena. No, oh. I'm not even kidding. Was it oh. was it Ribena. a religious wedding? No, no, oh. no. Do you know what? I tried red wine for the first time yesterday. What? <laughs> Sorry. What? What? Fuck Sorry. off. Fuck like, off. I, like I've just shat on this table. Like what? What? What's that reaction about? Sorry. How old are you? He's bringing shit up early. <laughs> For a start, I take that as a missile. <laughs> no, That's normally on. after the full play. Normally it takes an hour. Yeah. Uh, Fucking hell. You think the table's brown How for a reason. How do you make it at this point in your life? Mm. You got your Spotify deal. Still yeah. haven't tried red wine. No. Is, is that what you're supposed to do? When That's you what you're yeah. Mate, I, I tried it very young. Genuinely, I love red wine. It's like uh, me and Loz love love a bottle, don't we? We glug it. So I was fucking. I never glug. I did. I did a taste it. test. So I got Robbie Knox bought an expensive bottle, a medium bottle, and a cheap. And you would be Robbie Knox then. And um. I fucking hated it. You didn't like all it. of it. It's disgusting. How, I, how many types of red wine did you try? So they, they were all the same type, uh, all from Argentina, all the same year. Good grape. Mm, uh, good grape. Apparently, that's what he said. I yeah, don't know what yeah. that means. I don't. And, um, I well, when I say like an expensive bottle, I'm not talking about like your kind of level. Do you know? What I mean, I'm like hundred pound bottle. That's expensive. That's, that's, that's pretty expensive. expensive. Is it, is yeah, that expensive? that's high yeah, end. Yeah. I don't know. And I tried it, and the worst one was the expensive one. Mate, sometimes yeah. a six it's an acquired taste. Yeah. yeah, soft and fruity. Mm. This is it. We, that's we, not a just <laughs> soft and fruity. No, that's not again, Will isn't here. <laughs> Why? Sorry, yeah. you've gone all those years without having drunk. You've drunk white wine though. Uh, yeah, probably. You, I'm, I'm with Jack on this wine. though. Yes. Wow. I, I, <laughs> yeah. That was a. I've been in some states, or so probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, what? I like how I like wine. I like it. I like in some, a glass. And some <laughs> well, yeah, some olives, some some nice cheese, mm. a bit of parma ham, Mediterranean. Oh, that sounds great. A little bit of bread on the Amalfi oh. Coast. Mm. Bit yeah. of yeah. Brian doesn't go for the Amalfi Coast. He just sort of goes to with me Italian food. I love it. Yeah, yeah. what Amalfi Coast? The Amalfi Coast is just what? below Naples. 
Oh, uh, I thought that was a type of wine. Oh no, <laughs> no one expected this on this podcast. It really doesn't they? feel like Christmas. <laughs> mm. It no, really it doesn't. doesn't. It's not Christmas it's without we Will. We don't stop grafting. <laughs> yeah, right. No one's ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. Yeah. Well, why am um, I the only one that's turned up in a Christmas jumper? Oh come on, uh, that's quack. not a Christmas I've jumper. I tried. That is not. Well, I've made an attempt. You dress I? better when you come to football. <laughs> that's debatable, really. Honestly, are like you a good footballer? This is, what is oh, good. we're not starting this again, are we? Every year it's going to be, first of all, it was, oh, you used to play for Bournemouth. Prejudice, yes. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but Jack, I'm going to let you take the floor of this one because you've got some great stories about me and when he tells them, people have to believe In them. January, mm. he came down and we did a thing in Norwich and then we went and played five-a-side and uh, he scored a hat-trick and he scored an overhead kick on a five-a-side pitch Cheers. and it pissed me off. <sighs> Does that quite a lot. It yeah. affected me. Overhead height rule, though. Yeah, it got disallowed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look By year two, I was the ref. Yeah, he took the bar. Fair play. That's a foul, yeah. Alex. So you're not you're not too you're not too bad, which is weird because you don't look like you'd be good. Yeah, the actually, range. I've got I've got a bone to pick you guys. I remember when Go on. Sh- Shoreditch got brought up on one of the True Geordie videos. Yeah, mm. I remember you said the level wouldn't be that high. <laughs> it isn't. It is very high. Have you seen Elliot Hackney? Elliot yeah, Hackney oh. plays and he is a beast. I, I've, 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 haven't, I haven't got good Stokes authority hmm. that the level's increased lately and you might not be hacking it very well. Oh, just what I'm hearing. I don't know. I don't know That's just what I'm hearing. That's what Elliot and says. And what's great about that is it. I can say that second hand and know that it's not my fault because <laughs> I've never been. So it's Dude, great. Why, why do you, not, why do you not play? Who has said that? Why do I not? Um, sort of Brian, you are good. Bit of a professional. Five aside, minute. definitely. It's one of them, innit? Yeah. Oh, mate, no professionals. Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, oh, I'd be no, I'll be honest, I'm too fat. Uh, no, oh, that stop on, Believe me, Brian, if, if, you, if, you came to Rooney, there, if you came to <laughs> Shoreditch, <laughs> <shoe long>. you <laughs> wouldn't be the fattest. Uh, I wouldn't be the fattest. No. Really? Ooh, who is? Really, who, who is? is? Can't, can't say. Can't who say. Who is? No. Well, yeah. top three, in no particular order. <laughs> Some people have really let themselves go during lockdown. <laughs> just just go by the BMI. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's I just I think we're all waiting, Lawrence. You're the only one at this table who's not been cancelled. Well Alex before, is very so. skinny. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not me. Yeah. Lars can say anything and no one can cancel him. I've realised that. Smart. He's bulletproof. Because <laughs> people switch off when he talks. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know that That's way. so true. It, Why have you turned into a breakfast radio DJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. What, what do this you mean cunt. by that? What I love is every time I watch one of your clips, you you have music as a bed under some of it, and it really makes me think of I don't do the like, editing. Breakfast radio Ooh. DJs. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling there's some tension here. No, oh, is it? Is it? For those blaming? who don't know, is he? Chuck Mates editor is in the room. Editor and driver. Yeah. And but still not white. Minder, I love her. Minder yeah. as well. I love her. Yeah. Um, Regular lo- lover or lover fifth no. on the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Look at she giving me the eyebrows. We're going to bring <laughs> her in regular. soon. Are we? Um, here's Kara. Right. She will not. I can tell you now, she will not come up. Well, yeah, no, she's in the room. So. <laughs> we need somebody to replace Ooh, Will. Sure said we, about me. we did try and invite Mia, actually, even though Will wasn't here. She well, yeah, she is the personality of that relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? And the looks. <laughs> and the balls. Clearly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, wow. What <laughs> does she need him for anymore? That is the real quiz. <laughs> mm, the um, real quiz. <laughs> oh, God. Genuinely. Seriously, though, Jack, why do you have a bed all the way through the clips? What on what? Like on the clips on YouTube. I don't. I don't have a bed on the clips. Sometimes I've never noticed it. I have an intro, and there's no bed. I mean, on the, it's the intro bit. just rings for your head, doesn't it? Do, 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 do. And sometimes it goes sort of, yeah. And that's when my friend topped himself. And I'm like, oh fucking hell, this is getting, this is getting dark. It's is not it? happy or an hour. No, so that's it's very true. Actually, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good meme. Yeah. I do like it. Yeah, yeah. very that's, memorable. Yeah. Alliteration at its mm. finest. We had uh, uh, one of our most viewed clips was Calix talking about his cancer. What is the most viewed clip? Yeah. Yeah. Belle yeah. Delphine. I'm finally taking it up the arse. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that deserves a jingle. Yeah, no, it does. does. Yeah. How was she? As, it, as in the clip, not her arse. Yeah, yeah. she's uh, she's an interesting character. She's very switched on. I doubt it jingles. She's, she's quite skinny. She's she's, uh, she's she's Belle Delphine, Brian. She's um, wow. good she, answer. She, how, how profound. She follows me on she, Twitter. I didn't realise that. She gave me a used butt plug. Really? Yep. Wow. Used. Baby. Uh, I've got it here right now. Yeah, I never take it out. Why does was she? It, how does what um, that? What, what is that? You, what is a key ring? Or where, where do you put that? You I know put it on the shelf. You put up your I nose. Put, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean of all people that ask that question, yeah, exactly. Me? Yeah. Shock. Where would you put that? Well, um, but uh, she does seem to be play dumb, Brian. <laughs> I just realised. I mean, we're going to give her some free promo, but what the fuck? Hmm. She's actually releasing her sex tape like on Supposedly. Christmas Day, which is yeah. the day that this. Yeah. So out. now we're going to outdo her. Well, yeah. oh, come on, you, Lawrence. That <laughs> or the Queen's speech? Me. I mean, which one would you rather watch? What? Out of what? Sorry, can that I, or the, or the Queen's speech? I I'm getting the into the Queen speech. lately, though, because I watched a bit the of the Crown, crown. Yeah. and I was like, 
queen. He was kind of good looking when she well, was Well, this is the, this is the actress that played the young one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's all right. Is this the one before Olivia Colman? No offense to Olivia, Olivia Colman. Colman. Olivia Colman. Olivia 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 uh, uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oscar winner. Yeah, the one before, the, the young queen. Yeah. You know I mean? Mm. Not too young. Is it legally. true that she never cried? Yeah. Thick, though. Is that true? She, the Queen never cried. Victoria. There's, there's a problem with her, for yeah, sure. It, I, I, the more I watch the crowd, the more I realise just what a fucking load of shit the royal family it's are. A it's mess, just one big it? piss up. Yeah. They oh, never yeah. do anything. No. They're like, we're not getting involved. The, politi- the politicians can sort this out. Yeah. And they just sit and cream off the top, get all the money. No one questions them. Have mm. you seen uh, Harry fair, and Meghan Andrew and creams on top? <gasps> it seems like they have the odd. <laughs> <laughs> That's not illegal. To, I think I'm pretty sure Andrew's had sex. I, 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 no, I he's come out, I'm gonna, just well. going to say this. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think this will cancel me. Andrew, Prince Andrew, has come on at least one pair of tits in his life. All right. Well, they haven't developed, but he has. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, Mary, he's had Mary, sex. Chris, we just don't for certain. That could be liableless. I don't know if that's libelous. Well, if he comes out and says, I've never done that. I've never done that. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, 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 I can't wait Pizza for Express. Prince Andrew <laughs> responding to Lawrence McKenna video. My I favorite thing, my, the best thing, I know, the reason I know I can say that is mm. because I know he's got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. 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 He's got other things to deny before he denies that. Mate, mm. they right? do like the odd trip to Africa and that's it. And they, like, they don't really do a lot. And the Africa's fruit. beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah, it? I mean, it is, just yeah. beautiful. They're just been shooting elephants. Beautiful people. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the scenes of the Queen, she's shooting deers. Yeah. <sighs> Is that really the whole show? I mean, yeah. the, my favourite character in it's Prince uh, Philip. He's just such an arsehole. <laughs> What a yeah, legend. but a lot of people fancy the Prince Philip when he's been played by uh, Matt, Matt Smith. Yeah, no, such yeah. a bastard. Zoe's Zoe's the same. She's she's become a bit of a royalist in the past week. Going, oh, I love the the Queen, and she's like, oh, Prince Philip's an arsehole. That's not royalist, is it? Though she fancied Prince Philip. Right. It's uh, it's one of the. She worked out that the Queen's son is Prince Andrew, and they've kept that quiet. To be fair. Yeah, they actually have. You know, it's like you'd think. Oh, he's maybe a cousin of someone. Not, no, not, he's not just. No. The, he's the favourite right. as well. Yeah, that, that comes out later on. He's the favourite. Do you think he's still? Spoiler is? Not anymore. Do you think he still is? <laughs> or maybe he is. Uh, maybe yeah, that's the reason man. he's in this position. He's I, so favourite. No, but I, they make a point of like he's a bit of a sexual deviant early on, and mm. they're like they hint that he gets away with murder and stuff. Yeah, I mean not not literally. No, not, not literally. No, no, it wasn't no. murder that he was Prince accused. Prince Charles, on the other hand, well. Whatever, whatever yeah. you want to think about Diana. I only found out this year that Diana wasn't the Queen's daughter, and that's not a lie. <laughs> Are you serious? That's not a Was lie. Was that when you were drinking the wine? Or <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely. Are you fucking serious? One hundred percent. I can't believe this. They 100%. say a lot of things about Norwich, but fuck me. I know it's mad how sheltered. That's one thing. Yeah, I, uh, Norwich. yeah. <laughs> I f- yeah. I, I feel silly. I'll admit, but that is the I, uh, that, that is the truth. I, I looked mean, into it this year. Used, Diana's death, and then oh man, so, well, so well, dodgy. Mate, it's so, so the, dodgy. Obviously, there's all these conspiracies about how she died and whether or not the Queen may or may not have had a part to play in it. Right. So I, up until 27 years of age, I thought the Queen was an evil bitch killing her own daughter. Right. <laughs> Turns out it was daughter-in-law. Just yeah. a stranger. Which makes it okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen mother-in-law or bitch-in-law or whatever but, it is? No, I have to say, say b- bitch-in-law? Well, 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 Prince as yeah. having an affair and there were, there were three of us in this relationship Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was basically fucking Camilla the entire time before, mm. during, after you know he probably which spent, is a downgrade man. That, that's the thing which makes Camilla you- is a she's a stinker I'm just putting yeah. that out there well maybe that's why maybe that's why he likes it one up the Charles stink. took a fat L on that well, what, what's weird is <laughs> Camilla I'm yeah. getting really into this now Camilla fucking meets up with Diana early doors does and she's she? like oh yeah do you not know he likes this and he likes that and she's like fucking with Diana's head what like, kind of stuff does she say he, she say he likes well she's like oh do you know his favourite food is do you know what he likes this oh he calls me this this is my nickname what and she's bitch. blatantly like getting in Diana's head and Diana she's like bulimic and stuff it's very oh. sad Harry and Meghan for True Jordan have a good 2021 that'd be amazing uh, oh, actually yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Be an happy hour it, it does make you realise how like Get sad Sean it Edward was does. for Diana and then she, she obviously is in a relationship with Dodie Fayed who's like yeah. you know Muhammad Al Fayed's son I was going to say he's not my favourite Fayed and she comes out swinging putting the, putting the pressure on the royal family <laughs> boom mm. and she, she, apparently she said to her butler if I die in a car accident, yeah, he left it was a letter. Prince Charles. Sadly, yeah. the butler was a complete wanker, so nobody believes <laughs> it. Paul Burrell. Yeah, Paul, Paul Burrell. That's yeah. it, not Paul, Paul Butler. Paul Butler. Just ironically <laughs> named that. 
It's not ironic. Is he yeah. the guy that went on like Big Brother balls. and shit himself yeah. over the rat? Did he yeah. shit himself? That was, uh, I'm a, no, I must live to get me out of here. Right. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, there wouldn't yeah. be. Well, there are rats in Big Brother. There are. <laughs> Pretty sure there are rats in Balmoral. You went in. Uh, there, was a, there was a YouTube Big Brother. Locked in, that's shit. it. Oh, Lo- Jock went show. in. Did you go in? No, thank God, no. Shows how many episodes you watched. <laughs> no. I didn't watch any. But. The only clips I saw were Jack and. Uh, Bambino Becky? Yeah. Yeah, she was on there. Sure, yeah. um, and some other <laughs> clips of just everyone. Everyone was just really boring. It, honestly, I'm not. I, I know it's done now, so we can say whatever we want. It's like, done out here. It's yeah. done. They are done out here. It yeah. was one of the most boring series of anything. They got I've a lot of views, though. So Did you watch like, the episode with Joel in, where everybody went? He, he read a book. <laughs> Jack gets J- a bit uncomfortable J- now. J- 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 Joel in. J- J- JMX was reading a book, <laughs> right? So they do this. They, JMX reads a book, and then the they do, like, <laughs> <laughs> do this meeting. Everybody goes into like the diary room. They go. Oh, I never knew he, he, he could read. <laughs> They're like, he's so smart. I'm like, I mean, give him some credit. Yeah, I do so love the fact that just because JMX started a few businesses, people think he's the brains of Britain. Oh, mate, it's like brilliant. credit to him. But, but when you're in there with Facebook a, pranksters, if you start a, if you start a business, oh, you, yeah. are, you are Alan he, Sugar. He is. Right, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. You're is fired. It, yeah. It, no, call back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call it in the we, business, isn't it? We all make mistakes, though, don't we? We all make mistakes. So I don't even know what to get alluded to. Did something happen between you and JMX? I can't he, he voted him out. No, yeah. so, so, so something happened in there, so I had to leave. I I, I left pretty pretty ASAP. So you, like, how, how many days were you in? I was in there for an hour, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's wow. what I would have done. Yeah. To be fair, you grand like- opening, grand closing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. What the yeah. fuck? I made it very clear I was going in there for the money. Yeah, and and, and I left. Did you get all the money? Hundred percent of the money. Yeah, because I didn't. Do how it. how I, did I, you I, leave I, after an hour? What happened? Uh, something, something, some things went on in there. Some things went on in there. Was it was it all on the in the video? No, or? no, no. Ask him after a few more of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll get it out yeah. Of Jack, it's fine. Just. Who did you sleep? And with? it wasn't. It wasn't JMX, <laughs> JMX was it? JMX, yeah. JMX, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't Joel, was it? No, no. Me no. and Joel, me and Joel are all right. Joel yeah. was actually very. Because um, this is a thing that people don't know, right? So, He's a good guy. So, so I'm not going to talk about the he thing. Nice. But one, when I went in there, I found it very bizarre that because I had to kick one of them out. That was the task, right? Yeah. So before I go in, I turn up and I'm at this production uh, shed in the middle of nowhere, and they go, "Right, we want you to go in. Everyone's being too nice. We want you to put a knife through JMX's football. No, no, sorry, it was kick the football over the garden or something." And as <laughs> a guy, you always carry. A knife on you, aren't you? Jack? Yeah, just yeah, one, yeah. Fan. You've got your knife, made of the you? beaner. Uh, yeah. And so there was ball, uh, right? Bash. There was a guy called Bash in there. It was a lovely guy. <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they asked me to get rid of his oxo cubes. It's just one. Right. Too far. Right. Well, get, is, go in there and stir it up. I yeah. do not get endorse rid of the this. Oxo cubes. Well, I won't be able to stir it up anymore. Well, everything's amplified in there. So he he really he <laughs> obviously clearly wanted them. Yeah. As I was going in, as I was going in, they it's went. It's a pressure cooker like, <laughs> with a load of oxo cubes in it. <laughs> Fuck it, me. It was terrible. I'll tell you that right now. But. As I was going through the door, the guy went, by the way, that won't be a task. So I went, what, what do you mean? They went, you'll just go in and do it. So they're just going to build into the narrative that I've just walked in and went, see you later, football, give those ox so cute. So I went, well, no, I'm not doing it. If yeah. you tell me it's a task, I'll do it. Yeah. But anyway, I went in, the task came up, and uh, I had to kick out JMX or some other guy that was in there, some guy called Jordan. And uh, so I, it was always planned. I was, was going to kick JMX out. Right. JMX had an operation two days later. It was booked in. So like uh, yeah, I, he, I knew he, oh, I knew before it started that Joel was only in there for a week. <laughs> what was his operation? Yeah, uh, on his shoulder or something. Oh, so, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. I went in and they were like, "Who are you going to kick out?" And I so went, oh, "I played up to it a bit and went JMX." And everyone started fucking crying. They were right. like, I, I like Bambino Becky. She, I thought, like, I thought going in, she's my friend, but mm. she's crying her eyes out, looking you know, at me I'm like, Welsh. "Oh, this is too far." I'm like, "It's a reality TV he show." Was the only one I always think that. What, I have my golden moment, right? You can take the piss because it's not a great moment. I only had an hour, right? So. So, so they're all crying. Happy hour. They're, they're literally. <laughs> As he went out, he went dead, 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 dead. dead. As he went in, though, he goes around and he goes, hey, "Hello, guys. Yeah, what's your favourite meal deal?" Yeah, yeah. It's just Cheers. crazy. <laughs> loves it. Loves it. Um, so, so yeah, they're, they're all crying, and JMX leaves, and they're all looking at me like I'm an absolute scumbag, and I just went, "Oh, think of it this way. At least he'll get a lovely little black and white montage leaving." And one guy went, "Mate, you're enjoying this too much," and I just went. Everybody <laughs> And no one made a sound And Becky's looked at me and gone 
too far and I've gone we're in a fucking big brother <laughs> like <laughs> promoting trainers like what have more you seen the way it ends <laughs> have you seen the way it ends after the episode everybody's so angry at Jack and I mean they're not joking they're <laughs> living this, this, I, this is really like a Javis scripted moment where <laughs> oh like, yeah it was part of the show yeah. well, oh. when, when I left Chico I was back shaking in a, his head I, I was back in the production office an hour later yeah. <laughs> and uh, I get a round of applause I, 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 <laughs> god no well, but yeah. I, I was looking at the wall and there's a picture of JMX and all the people on there like obviously they have to try and remember their names and um, <laughs> and it's a JMX due to leave on the day that I went in so I was like I'll take a picture of that so, right, the, yeah, cunts, yeah. so the cunts yeah, know yeah, that keep it. like it's, it's insane how, yeah. how close can you grow Wait, to, um, to, to someone in a four Don't days in a house it's mad isn't it just yeah. count Bambino back his tears they want real <laughs> I like her I like her but she could have had my back a little bit more right. yeah, yeah. I, I do often think that with games like there was that guy called Nasty Nick in the first ever Big Brother oh, who yeah. took in a piece of paper and Craig, and was like, Craig called him out oh yeah and, and everyone was Living with him, and I just remember thinking at the time, he's only a piece of paper. Like, mm. Is it really that bad? You, yeah. si- you sided with Nasty Nick in this. Well, <laughs> I sided with reason, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it was really weird. If every time somebody got voted out on that show, it would cut to a picture of them in black and white with the Bloody date hell. under it. Who who won <laughs> they that? Died. <laughs> so who, Joe's not dead. He's yeah. No one won it, Stephen. Just like we're, we're all losers. Yeah. The only, pe- I, the I only people who won that are now and getting the full. <laughs> thing. Oh no! Was, I mean, it, was it JD Sports or Foot, foot Asylum? Foot, foot Asylum. I mean, yeah, clearly yeah. someone won. Uh, As you can see, the advertising was very clear. Well, I mean, could you not tell? I'm sure I seen the diary. Like, because I seen the diary room at one point, I was like. Why is there loads of bags around you? Like, mm, I yeah. mean, is there not a bell? We <laughs> okay, were just three girls. <laughs> that, that was just mine because I didn't have time to unpack. Like, I was yeah. in and out. Bra- branded content though can be done like one of two ways. And when I seen them, just over just the top bags everywhere, I was like. Tacky. Well, he said we're in the gym shark. <laughs> Classy, man. I would actually be wearing a t-shirt. I don't sit next to a pile of bags very often. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes it's a bit of weird. weird. <laughs> the, all the to microphones be, were attached uh, to those like little like fanny pack. Oh yeah. 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 They little, branded. Little, little I don't go anywhere bags. without them. Yeah. yeah. Little yeah. man bags. Did you know many of the people when you went in there, or was this a bit like cold? Do you know what I mean? Becky, you was, Becky like I I consider her a friend. So I, when I was going in, I was like, I know her and Ellen and Neil had been on my podcast. Apart from that, who's that? Um, uh, Alan and Neil crime, uh, crime, crime. You know, the crime girl. Crime. She does all the crime True stuff. crime yeah. stuff. Yeah. But but um, Jake Mitchell's sister was in there. Eloise Mitchell. <laughs> that I, I, clip I, is so good. So I've made a video about Jake Mitchell before. Like who's just, Jake Mitchell? Just um, he, he, he wanted. He was like Justin Bieber back in the day, but now he's like a road man. Oh, like, sick! Flex the rollie and Must stuff look like him that. Up. Yeah, check it. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah. He's mates so, with J One. Oh. And uh, but I went Who? in there and she yeah. she acted like I'd slaughtered her entire family. I watched the video back after and they were all like. Jack, you don't know what, like, not to me, this is when I was not there, they were like, Jack ruined her entire it's, family. It's so funny. Like, I'd set her house on fire. You walk, like, you I made in. one video about a little brother. Like, you walk in, don't you? Merc, and, you? And everybody's in this centre room, and Jack comes down the stairs, and she wasn't with them for whatever reason, she was the only one who wasn't in the room. And she opens the door, and you could see her over his shoulder. She opens the door behind him, sees Jack. <laughs> Her eyes go like that, and it just closes it again. <laughs> oh, my God, wow. <laughs> That's yeah. not the way you treat Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you treat Hitler? Hitler? Yeah. Oh, come here, brother. Do the Hitler impression, Lawrence. Well, when he walked in the room, you, <laughs> exactly you wouldn't that. just go, oh. I mean, to be fair, Bambino, Becky didn't know Hitler. Uh, but she's very close with some other people who are a bit like Hitler. So. <laughs> JMX. <laughs> JMX isn't a Nazi. Well, we don't know what he was reading. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> how to be Goebbels. Chapter two. <laughs> wow. Take off Goebbels, we've covered that now. <laughs> yeah. Good. J- <laughs> Weirdly, JMX is reading Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weird thing, is we don't have a problem with any of these people, but it's just funny. It is. This is I it. don't yeah. know them, so they seem really off and ne- like they don't seem like real people to no. me. They seem like characters, don't they? And yeah. when they go on a show like this, then I automatically treat them like a character. Yeah. yeah. Because I look at them and Cheers, I just mate. think, well, you've demeaned yourself. Cheers, mate. Yeah. It's not I'll, real, I'll, is I'll, it? You are this to me. I'll be honest. I said, <laughs> I'm not going in. Got, the money could. Uh, well, I, I said I'm not going in, Free and then trench. they went, "We'll double double the fee," and I went, mm, "I'm not sure." And then they went, "And we'll add a bit more on top," and I went. Okay, uh, I can't do the two weeks. They went. We'll just put you in for the last five days. So I said to Fee, I call went, it an hour. I, I'm, I'm, go, I'm, I'm, I'm basically just going on a little bit of a holiday to some shit Air, Airbnb somewhere. She can I'll, understand you going away. <laughs> she understands. That. You don't have to explain why <laughs> <like> she's a <laughs> dog. <laughs> Daddy's going away for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Left for a little meal. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that when I go back. I want to know everything about it. Tell me if you like cheese and pickle. <laughs> yeah, and then yes, yeah, so 100 percent of the bag for an hour. So oh, well, so, in. Okay, I think finished. I won. 
Yeah, no, I think I won. Let, we now know won. who the real winner was because yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure your hourly rate was the best by a it mile must be, yeah. it must in be. that yeah. fucking house. Yeah. Exactly. The rest of them yeah. sitting in their own filth. For and yeah, you didn't have to yeah. stop with the podcast, did you? You just no, kept no, going. Yeah. yeah. yeah what did it smell like? It, <laughs> it smelled musky. Mm-hmm. It smelled. I can't deal very well with heat. I'm ginger, mm. right? I went upstairs into the bedroom. They were all outside. No one, no comp was in there at this point. Yeah. I lay on the bed and I can just smell musk. And as soon as they come in, I went, "Does it get any cooler in here?" And they went. No, and I was just like, I don't know, I can't do this. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, oh. so you cut your visit short. I'm out. Yeah, it was. F- Whatever horrific thing it is that you did, congratulations, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. That's for sure. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, it wasn't. There was a there was a huge m- misunderstanding in there, okay. which I'll happily tell you all individually. Okay, but, um, can we just hear it as a group off mic? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> one by one. <laughs> no, you meant that. Right, yeah. come on in. Yeah, your go, son. Yeah, uh, but no, yeah, we'll we'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who won? Yeah, I won. won. I was in there for an hour. Right. Okay. Yeah. I really want to know what the fee was because like those. I remember when they they asked me if I wanted to go in there. And I all just right. How about, how about this then? How about this? How, how how much would you have to be paid to go in that house for an hour? I'll tell you. Yeah. What I remember right, you actually so. quoted me how much you want for two weeks. <laughs> oh, can we can we hear? You said two hundred fifty grand. <laughs> That's, that's, not right. Right. that's a big price deal or no deal. Yeah. Oh, I, I literally said 300 grand or I wouldn't do it. No, I said it's you, not you, worth you it. You literally heard his one and went, I'll add another 50 on the I'll add a 50 on that. That's I'll the tell you boys. Now, I definitely charge more than Alex. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about that. No, you yeah. basically go, whatever Alex is charging, double it. Yeah. And they go, mm. especially if I have to go in there with Alex. Yeah, yeah you know, definitely. But then you triple it. No, I said, I just said to them that they couldn't pay me enough to get in there. It sounded like a nightmare. People are asking, um, most embarrassing sexual moments. Um, <laughs> You've really given up at this point. First time. <laughs> I, I, I did ask for some Probably things. Probably fucking in a foot asylum bed. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> sex and the Paul brothers. Not not together, just a separate topic. <laughs> sex and the Paul brothers. brothers. Um, yeah. Sexy Paul brothers. If what? I had to be spit roasted by them, I'd go Jake front, Logan back. Yep. Other way round. No. Why? Why? Why would you want Jake if you in have front? To have I just, eye I just, contact. Who? who you I just realised that oh, I'd have Logan. That's so easy, yeah, that's Logan. It. But that's it. But I imagine uh, Logan sort of got a bigger uh, cock. cock. So yeah. 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 That's what? What so you'd be choking on it. Cheers to that. Um, Cheers. You can knock me out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird just, mental picture. Just jab me in the head all day, Logan. Oh, Yelling God. timber. <laughs> I credit to them. They're fucking killing me. Shout out, right Kesha now. and They're Pitbull. Fucking, they really are, aren't they? Well, Brian, down. what do you think of Jake Paul's uh, little message he did to Conor McGregor with the Irish flag draped across his back? Um, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Uh, genius. It is, yeah. yeah. Absolutely genius. I yeah. thought of myself, uh, you're literally forcing. Well, I mean, we're talking about it right now. Uh, yeah. And every fighter immediately started talk. He's like, they view him as the Conor McGregor without the hard fight bit. They're like, payday, but I yeah. don't actually have a hard fight. But the problem for everyone else is that you fight Jake. If he's actually kind of good, and I don't really know how good he is yet, because mm. it's like everyone he's fought, Deji, Gibble, and Nate Robinson, none of them are like as big as him. So he's got no. massive advantage on them straight away. And he's been boxing longer than them. So like, yeah, he's beaten them. But in my head, I'm like, it's going to be so different when he gets in there with someone who can actually fight. I don't, yeah. have a, I don't know what his level is. Dylan Dennis? So I think he'd probably beat Dylan Dennis in a boxing match. Interesting. Because I, I saw the clip, you know, the clip that came out where he throws the... the toilet paper. Toilet yeah. paper in their water balloon or something. Yeah. I thought, oh God, Dylan looks really angry. But then when you see it from, I think Brendan Sharp was interviewing him yeah. with the camera yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. Dylan Dennis is just chilling. He's just, he's just like, yeah. oh, this is hilarious. He was laughing. He was laughing. Mm. Like, yeah. It seemed to find it relatively enjoyable. Mm. Yeah. It was quite funny. I, I feel like Dylan's kind of, it's a weird one because if, if he fights Jake, the whole MMA world have to get behind Dylan. But on the other hand, most of the MMA world don't like Dylan Dennis. Yeah. He's the Jake Paul in MMA. What, what, yeah. What's his game? Who is he? He's so a very good wrestler, isn't he's he? A, he's a, um, he's a jiu-jitsu guy who like sub- submits everyone. So he's not a boxer. <laughs> but in MMA, he just takes you down <laughs> because he's amazing at submissions. He'll just sub- break your arm. So when he's on the feet, he looks pretty average. Can so he do I, a tombstone pile drive? I can see why Jake would say, oh, let's... But then he, he spars with Conor McGregor. So... He's kind of if he beats the hell out of Conor McGregor's training partner, Jay, yeah, it's just great for him, right? Insta- and it, they could make money out of it. Yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you just you're talking about a tombstone pile driver on Jake Paul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Undertaker retired this year, you know. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's quite it's about time for though. about he, the fifth time. Like, he, mm. Yeah, he looked a little bit shaky when he was fight. Uh, he was wrestling. He's a, for the past. He's 15 not got years. the strength now. Yeah. Mm. 
Bless him. Okay. He's quite old, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's getting on. Yeah. He'll be out of retirement to fight Cal Freese in five years. <laughs> 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 Is Jake, you know is Jake good at boxing then? Because from what I've seen, and I know nothing about boxing, but he looks fucking decent. He's the, he's the best YouTube boxer we've seen, I reckon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah, you could have him. Yeah, obviously. But, yeah. <laughs> so. he, he looks fucking good. He's like, the best I one mean, who's fought. When someone's knocking mm. people out like that and, and hurting them. In terms of like, the visual, yeah, for yeah. knockout. But then, yeah, but he hasn't fought JJ or Logan. No, who that's are it. Bigger guys than what he's fought. J, JJ's got the best record. JJ. To be fair, his raps are good. Like the, Well, at least the well, beats are good, yeah. I don't know who writes it's not him it's not oh, fucking him they pay him. so much money in Los Angeles it's like a cheat code living yeah there. it's not Jake Paul on the rhyme and dictionary YouTubers generally like saying YouTubers make their own music is like saying I, I built this flat like I mean I'm in mm. the flat yeah, yeah doesn't yeah. mean I fucking made it no like, that's you true. know what I mean so. I made my diss track on Man Like Hack so I have you know well actually I did sure, exactly. I'm sure that was like <laughs> it was your mate <laughs> <laughs> that, that lasted for a second then Jack yeah. you from Balls <laughs> that was the only thing that this year that's been shorter than your time in the Big Brother house I like that you've just given up and just started calling it Big Brother, Big Brother what yeah. was it like when you met the Paul Brothers brother. dad oh Greg oh, Greg yeah. Greg. Old GP. Oh, but, yeah. Greg Paul <laughs> isn't that. it like that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's that. the one it's very John that's Lennon I've found yeah, yeah. Um, Greg Paul brilliant the Pauls. <laughs> I'd love to it, fucking shoot Greg though yeah, yeah it was good it was good. It, I mean he threatened to he threatened to knock me out um, and that was all does that just run in their jeans yeah like you could be like because I think it's fair when someone says they're going to punch your face in yeah and he seemed pretty fucking serious yeah were you a bit like oh fuck this could actually happen I'll right be now. completely honest yeah if that had Good. been if that had been anyone else I would have been and I'm not saying that in terms of like oh I could have him he could probably knock me out I don't know I'm not a fighter mm. but it was a combination of the whole week that was like our end goal to get that cut to, I didn't know if clip, he, yeah. I didn't even know if he'd turn up to the fight so when I see him at first Pam Logan's mum she was like yeah uh, Greg's here you can ask him he'll love this and every she is classic so divorcee yeah, she was yeah. lovely she was lovely yeah. his she's divorced wife yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she was lovely yeah she and knew what she was doing fucking yeah. him first yeah. but when he's come over and he's, and he's like I'm gonna fucking knock you out blah 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 I was thinking please do I mm. wanted him to land one on me I was showing off a little bit as well because you see all the YouTubers watching I was like this is going to be a great clip like I can finally fulfil my dream of being Josh Peters right, right here if this, if this <laughs> you would have wow. lasted longer than Give to be fair uh, uh, yeah that's true oh, it was very Sasha Baron Cohen sorry. right um, that's a very good, nice compliment thank you but knowing I that you sound like Borat with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the blonde hair whenever something Bruno. nice comes I'm just waiting <laughs> yeah. out of the corner of my ear for you um, but yeah no I really wanted him to hit me in the face and I would I, I, I there was no element of and actually I've got to give props to Fiona because I had Alfie filming and Fiona and there was one point where he went turn those fucking cameras off and Alfie went like that and Fiona just kept recording so I was like what a fucking yeah, boss bitch uh, am I right yeah, you are right yeah. player yeah. yes you are player right of course yeah. Yeah. she a bad bitch Fiona you're a boss bitch hey, we did nearly he yeah, wouldn't touch a woman right? remember no? Do you remember what happened no, no, that he, night? No, no, he started trying... Do I remember what happened that night? Well, we did... We nearly got in a bit of an altercation. Do you remember this? Did you go? Yeah. Yeah, I was so just stood next to him. This is when time. Alfie got thrown out of the thing. No, this was when Ben Phillips turned up. Yeah. Oh, I love Wales. Yeah. Oh, BP yeah. Garage. Do you know who Ben Phillips is, Brian? I, I've, I've spoke to him online before, but I don't, I've yeah, never yeah. met him personally. His, his brother always gets one up on him, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, started, bro. <laughs> I know, it's, the other way, it's the other way around, isn't it? Indian accent, you just did. It's a Welsh accent. What happened with Ben? No, it was. What happened with uh, Ben then? Ben, oh, ben, he ben, turned ben. up and he was not very happy with well, us. Me and, me and him had a bit of an altercation at the, at the fight. Knocked him out one punch. I'll have you know. Good. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> He's a big boy. What, what, what do we mean by altercation? Well, me and Jack have both done videos on him. Who haven't we done videos on at this yeah. point? And he came up to me and he put his arm around me. And I didn't know it was because I'm I'm like a lost boy in Miami. I don't know what's going on. Mm. Suddenly this bloke, who's, everybody's twice my size, puts his arm around me. And I look up and it's just Ben Phillips. And he just goes... Oh, I love your videos but that's not Welsh accent I love your videos bro is it I, Callum Mark? I love your videos bro <laughs> he goes I love your videos and then and then he looks up at Jack and he goes <laughs> Alan Hansen, what are you doing here <laughs> and he goes I don't, I don't like yours didn't he mm. and then oh I just remember they were going at it and I, but he still had his arm around me so they're like having this verb oh. when you say going at it though what, what roughly was so we were, fa we were we slamming were, hogs we were like there was verbals and then we were like quite close and then Fiona was having what does verbals mean though what is his problem so, so he had a problem with me calling him out right he's ever gone twos upon a squirrel no, Ben no, Phillips no. has yeah, yeah he so hasn't stay yeah. out of Conway Ben Phillips <laughs> but, but the first time I met him was at the fight and we and we had a very heated uh, altercation I, and, uh, sorry so, so Ben Phillips is a half man what really happened was they, he turned up and then his brother turned up and I just remember having <laughs> 
<laughs> and glued to his face. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that was <laughs> It was mental. It's like being in a Facebook prank. It was really good. Uh, Brian has no idea what's going on. You've seen on. some of the videos. They used Where to, he, like 2013, they did a lot of Facebook pranks like on yeah, his brother. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, so he, he used to do this thing where he, like, he goes, <laughs> I've washed your pants and I've, I've put them on the side and he put them on but he put like itching powder in them and he'd be like, bro, it burns and things yeah. like that. And then he'd be like, what have you done? Like if I was his brother, I just wouldn't trust him ever. Right. <laughs> you, you, first start, of all, you start to think maybe it's not real. Yeah. 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 My favorite stuff, one right? they did was when he, he, he tricked him to get into the back of a van and they closed it and just drove off and he's just, <laughs> and he's, they put like slippery liquid all over the back of the Fucking van. Fucking hell. He's just bouncing around. Wow. And you think that is real. Yeah. But he's gone, I'll do it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> they must have made so much money though oh yeah you can't knock how much money these people make like, I, uh, like this you can ju- this Julius Look, Julius Dean guy that I've who's just that re- he's a Facebook magician oh, I've met him I've met all these people there's two things I don't like Facebook and magicians yeah right. no there, you go. there you go I'm not into any of them you're not into yeah. magicians uh, were, you not, were you not one of those kids that went do you not remember the last set? time I said that thing about David Blaine we had all these fucking magicians messaging with oh, what said, <laughs> Stephen Mulhern <laughs> <laughs> I just said basically I rather watch someone who can like sing or ath- is athletically gifted. For me, that is actual talent. Yeah. Whereas doing tricks Duping is something you. like I've seen them one, I've seen them all. Like I don't, I can't keep watching that and find it entertaining. I like close-up mm. magic in real life is is interesting because you're like because you know the trick in you, mm. but it's like oh I didn't actually see how they did it. Mm. I get that. But when you watch a video, yeah, and David Blaine of all people, when he's freezing himself underwater Bro, that or doing that. One the the his, balloon one and the daughter his, says his that. Daughter, his balloon one is like, terrible. But the rest of them weren't real. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, did you see like, that? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's unreal. But also the, the, the terrible thing is the, the balloon one isn't even that good. He's just holding on to some balloons yeah. for but quite some time. he's not even holding on. He's harnessed in yeah. and he's made it look like he's holding on. Yeah. And then he eventually unclips himself and- That's it. Oh. Yeah. It, but I mean, fair enough, it looked pretty cool. But all I was just saying was like, you know, Up was if I could watch you saying Bolt run 100 meters or fucking some, a great singer go, to me, that's like talent. Like. I get that there's talent in doing magic, but I just find it a bit. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I strongly, I strongly disagree, it's Brian. Childish. You're going to regret this. When if, you're, you're, if you're a magician and you're over the age of twenty, it's time to grow up. Mate. It's yeah, time right. to grow up. Oh, what I'm going to say, you Lawrence, I mean? is yeah. the Old day he turns up and he's a frog. This right. is going to be a hard podcast. Yeah. yeah. So, well, we hope these words. Yeah. yeah. We're in the process. Can oh, I just say, yeah, last year after yeah, the yeah. True Geordie Christmas special, Sorry. I went home Sorry, on the train, I was steaming, and I actually made friends with an Asian woman, and I was sat next to her, and she tried to hook me up with her daughter. She was showing me you. pictures saying, do you like my daughter, do you like my daughter? And yeah, now I've got her on Instagram. And she's here right and now. Now. On Instagram. And every now and then we have a little chat like Was that. she asking you what your job prospects were and stuff like that? She was... I wonder why Ricky likes you so much. Don't do, do, do it. <laughs> just definitely don't do the voice chat. <laughs> yeah, it'll sound like it's Welsh accent yeah. again, wouldn't it? Uh, no, oh, yeah, yeah she, just she just kept showing me a picture saying, Do you like her? Do you like her? And I was like, Yeah, she's all right. And then, so I'm, what am I supposed you can't to say? Yeah, she's, yeah. fu- she's fucking you rank. You should have gone really over the top. <laughs> and then racism comes in many forms, folks. Yeah. So well, wait a minute You back. you stayed in contact With this woman I was on a train I sat next to her I was steaming After the podcast Last okay. year Have you been steaming For the whole year And that's why You're still lucky <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> What the logic is here yeah. Yeah. Alcohol for yeah. <laughs> That's my mum yeah. uh, But so, so I'm on the train yeah. Two little kids Come and ask for She'll a picture She'll drink to that Right But everyone else on the train Do you got that on Facebook as well What's that <laughs> Nothing <laughs> Can we get more booze Can we get yeah. more moe Oh it's here I uh, ignore that I don't even know what you mean. What you mean? Like, Can you cut me out saying more my way, please? You went two kids came to take a picture of me, and I went, "Do you have them on Facebook as well?" <laughs> it was right. Instagram. Instagram I had them. <laughs> oh, no. uh, this is never a good. Podcast, Snapchat's the it? one. It's awful. <laughs> no, it's great. Well, people oh. love it. Cause it's, it's Why are you watching us? It's Christmas what Day. These problem? people are very lonely people. It's been a difficult year, Brian. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh God, Stephen. Right, God, I'm right. What? Oh God. Oh, it's all right. Mate. Cheers, mate. Just thing. emotional thinking about. Jack and his Asian lover. <laughs> we get on, we get on. How's you and your lover, Stephen? She all right? She's good, thank you. She's working now. Oh, doing Thank what? fuck for my bank account. <laughs> is, she on, is she on Twitch as well, is she? She's not, no. She, uh, she only uh, twitches when I uh, give her the good stuff. Oh, wow. As in sexual loving. Ketamine. Yeah, oh. not drugs. Is that, is that, the, is that the full she extent of the reaction when it pops it? Yep. In? Just no, a uh, no, she's a she's a she lovely lady. She barely blinks from what I've no. <laughs> from what I've, I've not heard, heard anything. I'm telling you that. I wish jokes, I could deliver. Jokes. No, well, you uh, look very happy together. She's she's a lovely girl. 
I'm surprised it's yeah. like busted, isn't it? Same here. You, you know, know same I mean? here, Brian, because I'm an annoying twat. That's what I was thinking. This is it. She's she's a star for staying with me. But dear, no, she's lovely. My, my thing about you has always been the, the same thing. Like where, uh, the idea of being in a relationship with you is at what point... <laughs> Do you think about this a lot? At what point? Because <laughs> if you hang around Stephen, the jokes never stop. At what point... Before having sex, do the jokes stop or does it just continue? Or does she laugh while it's coming? Do you, do you literally? <laughs> What's coming? <laughs> do you carry up the like the lightheartedness, or is there a moment where it goes? No, he switches. <laughs> yeah. There's a genuine problem here, Brian, because the whole aspect of, of the idea of sexy talk is something I struggle with so much. Okay. When you're trying to be funny, and then you have to be. She was like. What's the sexiest thing you've ever said? Oh. No, don't interrupt. What oh. was she like? I want to hear this. She's, like, you know, she was like, uh, just. Uh, she wanted me to talk because I was silent when we had sex. When you, know, you, st- when uh, you first started, yeah. this is it because you know, living at home with my mum. Yeah, silent wank was uh, the way to go. Yeah. yeah. Is this, is this <laughs> Christine? I'm dinner? going. <laughs> is he talking, he talking so, about so, dinner? Yeah, right. Sorry, no, no. Just, just in general, when right. I when I first had sex, mm, yeah. I didn't, I didn't make a noise. Mm. So she was like, you know, were you looking her in the eye or? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we finally got on to the awkward sexual not, stories. Not yeah. with those tits, Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> We've so, all been so she We've wanted all been a bit there. of sexy talk. Yeah, and I really struggled. It, right. My voice isn't sexy. It is actually. All oh, right, uh, but yeah, not so, when you say it like that. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my voice <laughs> isn't <laughs> sexy. It's the least sexy thing I've ever heard in my life. So I, used to, I used to do my own hands, and uh, yeah. unfortunately, it was always a scathing performance. <laughs> and, you know, it's terrible. Your form is woeful. No, uh, <laughs> so, but your tits are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the two on top are doing very well. <laughs> and over the Christmas period, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, so I, I really struggled with that. And then, uh, you know, it, you slowly progress with it as you get more comfortable with each other. But it's, I'm bad at being sexy. It's not me. You do. Oh, I, you I, fe- I feel like I'd like to like talk to you more about. Don't this. they say though? If you can make a woman laugh, you can make her. Well, laugh. absolutely, but there is a time to stop the laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, the problem is Stephen's still playing to the room when they're having sex. So he's like, "Am I right?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Nice well, little peephole. How about those condoms, eh? <laughs> no, but you've done condoms? well. You've lasted, and I'm proud. This of you. is it. Yeah. To be fair, that's not what she said about him. What's the sexiest yeah. thing no, you've no, ever said in the bedroom, Stephen? Um, good question. I'll tag you on Instagram. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I'll, I'll do free stories. I'll, once I'll, I'll get you at least ten thousand followers. No swipe ups. Who's good at talking dirty? Not me. Well, no offense, uh, but I think you know there's good and then there's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the scale can slide. This is it. it. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's like true. a fucking windscreen. Mm. Do you ever read back the stuff that you've said and go, "Fuck's sake"? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I, it's always it's always terrible. You, if we were to read everyone's oh, yeah, everybody, and, everybody's done. When you're not in right. the mood yourself and you're reading out like yeah. and then I will do it never sounds <laughs> good it's, it never does it's like when, you, when you're watching you. porn and you've come and it's like oh what's yeah. this Literally, it's like that, yeah. sometimes you look at them and you go what are you doing yeah. <laughs> the, yeah the minute you come it doesn't matter what you were watching you never think that's still good yeah, no, yeah. Oh. It's never, or if you catch yourself in a reflection just before it's fucking horrible mm. smooth mirror <laughs> do flashbacks you, PTSD oh Ben <laughs> Phillips put the scroll down I had some girl ask me once to 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 say something Dirty Fiona And uh, no it actually wasn't um, Oh right oh. And uh, I've never done that I've not been a Dirty, dirty talker. talker Yeah And she's this close to me And she What's says What's your favourite meal deal <laughs> <laughs> so She's like She's there You're like I die She's there And mm. she's like Speak dirty to me She knows this anyway okay. So it's fine She knows anyway. doesn't want me saying she's it She's shaking her head in the back Hundreds kind of thousands yeah. of people Yeah but, no, uh, What did you come out with A bit different to your podcast It's So I said I did <laughs> Come on, Why am I brought this out? Yeah, this is me. So I'm going to get you in the eyes. No oh, judgment. Okay. So I went, spit in my mouth. Oh. And she went, she went, that's mm. fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I've got a story about that. So I was about 18, 19, and I was with a girl who was like way more experienced than me. Yeah. And I'm on top of her, and I'm like, I'm doing my best. But I, she was way too much woman for me, to be honest with you. <laughs> Like, and I, at that age though, like she was like 25, she was bigger, like stone. She was, <laughs> no, she was, there, there's thick She's girls. Playing up short. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna, she was a very much a plus size woman. And at that age, I just didn't have the ex- experience to yeah. tackle that. Yeah, nothing, so it's just nothing funny about I'm that. doing no. my best. This is it. And then she's like, spit in my mouth. And like, I'm just like, <laughs> Hang on, I think started rapping. <laughs> no, Brian, that was Jack. No, genuinely though, I was just like, 
Did you do it? I did, did, but yeah. it was the most pathetic, like... Yeah, but what they want when they did, say did that, though, do they mean that little bit of bubble, or they, are they talking proper big Flemish? I don't think they're... Like, and should it be Flemish? Like, like right. they're not wearing the proper <laughs> loogie. Start doing that. You know Matt, like Robbie Fowler on match day, like, sort of like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. But at the same time, I just... I, I, yeah, I feel. How much did you? How much phlegm was in it? Not nothing. Like, <laughs> was it a thimble full? It yeah. was. It was literally just like a little spit. Like it wasn't yeah. much. But and how did you react? I, was just like, I think I need to start looking for different girls. I'm not. This sure is how, it. This yeah. Is so like, sorry. How me. did that work? Like you know, um, like in 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 logistics wise, how did that work? Did you then bend over and go? No, I, what I'm saying is I'm on missionary. Top, like, did I'm you on try top of it in, yeah. in missionary and she's asking for it right in her face, in her mouth. Yeah. Spit in my mouth. In and I'm just like, <laughs> I guess. I'm in me eye, lad. But this is the thing. That, that was over, what, 11 years ago? Yeah. Now, so mm. obviously like... Have you had that since, that request? Um... Uh, it's going to take a bit of remembrance. <laughs> uh, I don't, Same I don't, here, don't off the top of my head remember, but mm. it's not like yeah. the most unusual thing that women have asked for but at the same time I'm just like I don't know it's, yeah, it's when you first start trying to talk dirty and that it is a bit of a like yeah. it's horrible it's fucking yeah, horrible you feel a bit yeah. self conscious yeah. yeah, I'm over that now quite clearly but <laughs> I'm not a very confident <clears throat> man in the bedroom by any means really? but when, yeah, no god no look at me I'm not I've not got a, you're quite, well, you're quite physically though. attractive I've, though this me, is men who have a good have body podcast, you've got you've got a good body. talk for a living we should be the best at this this should be it doesn't matter what dick size you got how strong you are what you, what positions you're good at you, we should all be good at talking dirty really oh no stick a can of D in my face and I find it easy but right. a real woman no way oh, right. never what about a real man stick a can of oh, what that would be easier and Lewis <laughs> you've got the equipment you know Not how it quite. works just checking <laughs> what do you mean stick a can of what AD cannon a cannon, cannon. cannon. For a camera oh. cannon have you ever had a, a, oh, yeah. a dirty it's talk um, the struggle community. <laughs> a dirty talk struggle Alex have you ever uh, had that yeah, but I don't have I don't have as much experience really around the room. I don't think. You sound like you talk, <laughs> Alex. I think we're, I think we're in the same boat. Well, I think we're probably uh, level, level yeah, yeah. Uh, with each other. Level one. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur. Um, you seem like a very dirty texter. Oh. Uh, yeah. I swear, yeah, I could agree with that. I wouldn't want those on the internet. I will put the them thing. on screen now. Yeah, get them up. <laughs> I'll send them over and post. Um, no, see, I, I, I actually became single this year. Okay. Oh. So it's been it's been a great year. Is it, do you um, prefer single life to... Uh, oh, this is going to be really sad. Sorry. Is that why you've been posting a lot of, like... To- topless and there's sort of been a lot of pictures you. where I thought Alex is sort of snap back he's flaunting it a little bit at the moment well, you know what yeah. your post baby body's great after a breakup you you have a glow up right this um, is it yeah. when's so, it coming uh, yeah I'm hey. waiting <laughs> I'm still fuck waiting me, uh, <laughs> fucking hell fucking hell you're, you're so horrible Lawrence <laughs> even for you I always egg you on at football no, Lawrence you is like you're Grinch, the Christmas Grinch you sit here and you know he's just going to abuse you yeah I don't want to say anything Grinch should abuse me I find dirty talk is good when you can be a little bit critical of the other person yeah I don't know if that makes sense you're 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 just like you're 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 gonna need to go into this a bit no but like (laughs) have you been over that laptop all day your bag's so hunched (laughs) (laughs) I always have to do the dishwasher (laughs) why don't you ever join in (laughs) no but I just like being like bland yeah you fucking love that don't you like that sort of shit (laughs) that's so critical that's so critical critical when you're in the moment it's a little easy too easy to come out that way yeah yeah you fucking love that right do you like when someone else says things about you uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How how far can someone go before it gets too much too and sensitive. you begin to lose the erection? I personally <laughs> say, good luck. You know what I mean? Yeah, P- push it as hard as you can. Right, go uh, as, like you know, come on. Do you exchange like do you exchange like team crests before before sex as well? Yeah, yeah let's see who breaks first, <laughs> right. bitch. You're yeah. gonna get this <laughs> word in. <laughs> yeah, gobbledygook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, uh, there's it's less cordial than the Man City Man United derby. Do you oh, know what I mean? that was a little reference. too friendly for mm. me. Mm. Nil, I nil. It, I want it nasty. Mm. Yeah. yeah, let's get nasty. I want Glasgow Rangers. Yeah, that's what I'm I want. Scott about. Brown up in my dick. Yeah, Lawrence, are you? What are you like in the bedroom, sir? Well, obviously, I'm a reasonable level because I've achieved something very big this year. Right. Yeah. Well, what? Not allowed to put that in the podcast. Keep that out. <laughs> Anonymous name. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, he, Lawrence. Still hasn't named his. He kid. made a yeah. baby. I made yeah. a child. So Stephen tries to be fair. I, I was the assist quiet. on that. I got a pretty. 
You got the assist. assist. Yeah. I got the assist. Got, he I got him pretty it. drunk. Just, just pushing your arms back in every well, time. We had, had a good heart to heart. We were, we were really drunk. We nearly burned the flat down. We were that drunk. That wow. Well, we did actually almost burn that down. Uh, well done. How how did that happen? Work that out for yourself. That was yeah. that was an incredible day at Shoreditch the next week when we turned up and everybody went. Oh, we've only just got a kid now. Yeah. You never mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, and that I, just happened. It was also through lockdown, so it was sort of like we Nothing didn't. Nothing else to do. Well, no, no. Like we we conceived the child before lockdown. Oh right. Anyway, it's, it's not a lockdown baby so uh, and yeah that was uh, it feels so long ago now like you almost you know weirdly you can't imagine now not having that yeah. baby yeah, yeah. so you can't really think of it the other I way, cried right? when he FaceTimed me yeah I FaceTimed Duke Brian like an hour bed. after the birth oh, and, wow. uh, and he was on the train back I was to Newcastle me, from I was London like, and he was, was like, just like wow. it's just so beautiful <laughs> oh I love people that. Are you, you train. hearing, yeah, hearing yeah, someone's had a child is, is a lovely moment uh, it was very fast the best as well yeah what do you mean by fast it was like three hours and it oh right sorry oh the baby was like very quick so it made it good though isn't it yeah but I was yeah. like, I was ready to like bed in. I've told the story in another podcast. I was like, yeah, okay, we'll be here for like 10 hours or something. You, you were like, saying I've yeah. got the kickoff at 10, come on. Yeah. <laughs> he, messaged, he messaged me at like 7 a.m. when I think the baby's coming. And I messaged back like, I was like, don't forget everything you've done. You know, everything's going to be mm. fine. Trust us, everything's going to... And he just replied, yep. And I was like, oh shit, he's panicking. But he was fine. Uh -huh. We were chilling actually. Like weirdly, we were just, it was so chill. Yeah, it was very, what what were, really well. What were you doing the day that that all kicked off? Sleeping. It was like 5 a.m. when it all kicked off. Well, it, oh, wow. And then um, literally it was just like, oh, baby's coming. Okay, cool. Time it. Yeah, yeah, we should probably go to the hospital. And he's then we so, to hospital. He's so laid back. Mad. Like generally. Lauren. I'll be shitting myself. Were you laid that. back when you conceived the baby? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you lazy <laughs> boy. My money, my money, my money. I've seen yeah. those uh, hip thrusts though. You, you did good work, sir. I'm a very powerful man. Um, his abductors are great I've seen you at centre back at Shoreditch I know all about that yeah sadly I feel bad about tackling you because I I'm so much heavier than you I can literally just go yeah and I fly and you just go yeah this is why I can't come to Shoreditch yeah this if is Lawrence is a big heavy guy though I, I yeah don't that's mental it, it goes me well I'm at the third of the three there's Inab is obviously you know a pretty big guy right uh -huh. not in the YouTube world though because the E-boys <laughs> Good. Snakes. Good. Yeah. Snakes. Snakes. He'll, he'll, he'll love that when he says, I actually like that. I never. I, I, I think I he's a good yeah, he's I, funny. I just get on record. I like him too. No, yeah. I don't get what uh, you say. He's funny. All right. <laughs> All right. No, I do. <laughs> I, uh, he came out as bisexual this year. Did he? He did. Yeah. Big year good for him. him. Big year. He re do you think he realised this year he was bisexual? Because he's been hanging out with you for quite a while. He's, no, he's known for a while. No, I, he, he, to be honest, actually came out to me before. I was out. I say, How many of the e boys are bisexual? Uh, all of them when I'm done with them. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jesus. That's a good Christ. statement. <laughs> would you yeah. say the e boys is a success? I would. Yes, I would. I would. A uh, million subscribers is a success. Especially because we started it in lockdown. Good lockdown. old lockdown. I was trying to. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it all, honestly. Fuck COVID. Fuck lockdown. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. How many cases there were today? How many? Probably shouldn't say this when we're sat around a table. No. no. 35,000. Don't care. Yeah. What? In the UK? Okay. But I, it's because, I, I'm but done it's, caring. Surely it's because everybody is getting tested to go home, right? Oh, so no, I, obviously not. everybody's going to be getting tested. I got a test. I'm, I'm negative, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what about COVID? Got no the only time I come back. <laughs> no, those are positive. If no. if, you know, like. Positive's I good. I don't want to go in on the politics and all, but let's be honest. They fucked it right up. So, Fuck I mean, Bojo, yeah. If, if they can't get it right, I'm not going to worry anymore. Fuck Dominic Compants. You know what I mean? They mm. fuck. And if there's fuck anyone out there still th thinking that they're Hancock. doing the right thing and believing that when one minute it's eat out to help out, the next minute it's oh everyone shut down. It's your so convoluted. It's so it? yeah. 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 you're bang on. Fuck also, the, bang way, on. the way they count the tests is ridiculous. And then people have, have a go at me. We go, oh, you need to abide. I'm like, they don't even abide by the rules they make. I, 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 also, to, the be fair, to be fair, to be fair, we are covered. We are covered because this is our job. And there is a thing that the government did release. Saying that video shoot days are still allowed. This That's true. So yeah. I'll drink to that. to that, everybody. <laughs> we yes. buy a camera, hang out with your mates. This is there it. Go. Easy. Hang out genuinely, with your mates because with the, camera. the thing is, right? We're actually, I think, genuinely, YouTube and Twitch and all those kind of platforms are currently keeping people from going completely insane. Oh yeah, hitting well, a million subscribers, didn't you? Very true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well remembered, bro. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to a million. You've you got to be thankful in life. That's what I think. You have, but also you think, I've put that much content, you've not subscribed. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yourselves, you I will fucking idiots. We've been waiting on two million for a while now, but we haven't really gone for like 
but, videos to get more subs. Yeah. That's what I think Will does really well. He casts the net out all the time. Mm. He's, like, yeah, he's got, got his head switched mm. on. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Mm. Yeah. I do I do videos where I think if I look back in three years, it'll still be on there and still be Funny. Relevant. relevant. Whereas whereas Will has got this he's got the way to work it and he knows what he's doing. Bell Delphine good. send good. me a car. Mm. Did she? Oh, right. sorry. She didn't send me a car. <laughs> she sent him a car. She follows me on Twitter. I've told Jack that before, but uh, I don't know where that came that from. That was an incredible day. It's a boyfriend who's shag another day, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you like. So. I met, I met, I met her boyfriend. What's he like? Honestly, he's 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 all right. Is he a what's it a simp or whatever they call? No, no, he's actually a very like normal, like nice guy. Simpleton. Uh, but but like there was a little bit of Belle Delphine in him to the point where he oh, came. I thought he, the other way around. The bathwater. He came wearing an Ash Ketchum <laughs> hat. Oh. What, is that uh, the Pokemon? So the guy from Pokemon. Yeah. So he wore oh. that. So it's like he's a he's a very good looking guy, very normal. Oh, is guy. he? When you say I very good looking, I, I, can, I can put all well, the belt. So I can put all the belt up. You're talking to four fifties. Well, so this is the thing. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if if I had to say who uh, the, the male I'm most attracted to, I'd go for like your typical male answer, like Chris Be- MD, Beckham, or Bradley Cooper. Or Surely, like Zac Efron right? is crying but, right now. So I, James I, Charles, am I right? I'm yeah, I've heard you say that before. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you've got to go there, you might as well go for the most woman. Pretty yes, he did block me on Twitter. Because yeah. I made a He's fucking good joke. He's blocked you on Twitter. No, me. No, I'm, I'm I made, on I made a fucking good... Didn't make a good joke, Jack. Oh, yeah. it's such a good joke. What was the yeah. joke? Yeah. It's to do, when he was doing the meeting groups for 500 quid, I said he's doing a contour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good. I'll drink to that. Yeah, that like was that. funny. I wouldn't block you for that. I retweet you for that. Yeah. That was yeah, well, that's because you've got James, awareness. James now would retweet him for that. James back then, probably not. Yeah. James. Yeah, How many mate. times have you sucked James Charles off? Mate, every time I see him, it's mental. So what? How many times have you seen him? Then. He does look kind Never. of like a woman when he dresses up, or like womanly. Yeah, that's the only time it's acceptable for me. Right. I say, when you're a man, get out. Because when a woman says to you, suck this cock, you think, that's acceptable. Yeah, I go, yeah. I'm forgetting what we were even talking about. <laughs> we were talking, talking about, about Belle Delphine. Belle Delphine. Boyfriend, so boyfriend. what was a boyfriend like? So was he so similar I, to her demeanor? Because, and what I also want to know is her does demeanor- Does he talk like a young like, person as well? Though? He, no, he, he's got his brains, like, he's got his, he's got his head screwed on. Like, right. but, but I, his I, head's on his body. Is yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought he, and like, I'm allowed to say this because I'm, I'm an ugly cunt, but I thought he was an hey. average looking guy, right? Okay. But Fiona was like, no, he's 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 up there. So really, was, 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 Fee, was he good looking? Oh. Fee, was he really? Yeah. What are we talking about? Six or seven? Five. Five. Oh, five. five no, 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 because I'm going to put this in context. Five so, v, so, so this means Belle Delphine, all these mugs who think they could actually fuck Belle Delphine might have a point. No, 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 yeah, no, no yeah, his personality is a ten, probably. He no, he knew very wrong. little about YouTube. I was shocked at how little he, he knew. Like, what he, is her platform? Is it OnlyFans? Uh, yeah, she makes a lot of money on OnlyFans. But obviously, we're talking she's got seven big, figures a month. She's got a big YouTube, like Instagram. She's all over the place. But he knew so little; it baffled me. But yeah, he's the guy in in the video. A lot of people keep thinking. It's going to be JJ, like because obviously he saw it. That was the he's uh, got people a girlfriend. To it. Yeah, but people were thinking Bell had a boyfriend who she kept off camera, and he had a girlfriend, so right. they put Sorry. one on one together. But it, obviously, it's not. He's just playing up to it because it works well for both of their. Do profiles. you think he's going to look good naked? Who? The boyfriend. Their boyfriend. I, well, I, know thought, JJ he, that's I good thought he naked. was an average, like an all right guy, like nothing. Mm. He wouldn't blow. He wouldn't blow. He wouldn't. Let, I wouldn't spit in his mouth. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. that's what I'm trying to say. Fair enough. So that, there we we'll, we'll leave it. At that. Was she? Did she have a sexy vibe in the room? Because to me, I, I, the problem for me is I'm not attracted to her. No. So I don't see her as a sexual sort of person. I can understand why someone might see her as sexual, but it doesn't tick any of my boxes. I I'm like the, your type. I, I, I'm, I'm the same. We I'm know. the same. I think she She's looks. She's like she, I think she appeals <laughs> to. I don't know who she appeals. To, but she she presents herself as being quite young. Which th- is we, a bit unusual, surely you say so. paedophiles is what you mean, Jack? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why we're talking the more. Prince Andrews of the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is a bit weird that because on the one hand she's clearly a woman. Yeah, but the personality What's on the other hand, is, Brian? is quite. Image, it's very like, anime based, yeah. and, and the voices are very squeaky and deliberately online. Yeah, but when you were like, childish, well, she yeah. hires somebody to do the voice. I mean, Joe Pasquale had a squeaky voice. You wouldn't fuck him, Brian. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, wouldn't put him past him. Don't rule he was, out. He was thick. Yeah. I think if you remember rightly. <laughs> yeah. um, like that, also, when you look at her in the videos, you think like she's got womanly curves and like she's got a big bum on her and all of that. Like, so are you saying you're low end, attra- low key attracted to? No. Uh, how do I put this? Of course, well, she's clearly an adult. She she's has, no Riri. She has things about her that you you think are oh, as a man. You look at her and go, oh, "That's all right." Like, yeah. but 
then the, the persona. If, if she put the persona on during that moment, you'd be a bit like, "This is fucking weird." I think the persona yeah. is more intimidating than the person. Yeah, like when you meet her, like she she doesn't act young and kooky and all of this. Is that like, all for the? Yeah, yeah she, she lit, starstruck. Like, like no, I wasn't starstruck, but there's there's something about her that intimidates you. Struck? Like I was I was what slightly intimidated because she's so cute, you don't nobody has a clue because, who she is because she's an you've enigma. never met her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you don't know. Also, what also yeah. Yeah. Is, is, the reason why I talk about her is she she goes viral in a way that a lot of people just don't like uh, similar to me it's yeah. kind of weird how many people she have seen her yeah, to yourself yeah. like that 6 uh, 9 video she made yeah I haven't seen I was that like, mm. I just can't stop watching this this yeah. is fucking Ooh, mental yeah. the, yesterday I ordered an Uber from football <laughs> I love it right I ordered an Uber from football for, for me and my two mates so you know you have to do multiple stops Man, anyway thanks. so I ordered it he pulls up into the car park on the edge and he goes I can't take you what? So we come to we come to the edge of the car, but I think he can't come in here because he's got to turn. So I go, uh, and he goes, yeah, I can't take you. You're dirty and smelly. <laughs> I go, what? He goes, you're dirty and smelly. I'm not taking you. Wow. He goes, you're covered in mud. I'm like, we're on astroturf. We're we're completely clean. Hmm. And he goes, all right, then get in. So I go, sorry, dirty and smelly. And he goes, yeah. I go, imagine if I called you dirty and smelly. <laughs> and he's like, he's like. Just get in the car. I'm going, no, piss off. Wow. <laughs> I was so livid at dirty and smelly. Was he foreign? Yes. But you're saying it's lost in translation. It, it, for me, it might have been this something is, where he's gone. This a bit. is this is my scouse mother coming into oh yeah. God, don't say that again, Stephen. Who is this is my mother smelly? coming into me going going I'm not I'm not getting a lift for free here. I'm paying you for this service. Yeah. Don't right, I get don't that. see me from ten meters ago, dirty and smelly. Yeah. Mm. Fucking prejudice. Even though you nailed it. <laughs> right. I think he might have meant something else. He was probably just foreign. He got him got it wrong. No, because I, I kept questioning him about it, Brian. Oh, did he, he kept him, going with he, it, yeah. He yeah, doubled yeah. down. Dirty and smelly. Did you no, get you another did, driver? Yeah, who's ironically his name was Mudasir. Wow. Who's had mud in his name? <laughs> <laughs> was he foreign? <laughs> no. I've just I've shown you some of them can be good people. He went for the next adjective, smelly. To be fair, if you're a while away, you don't know where the, how smelly someone is, do you? I like, did you'd have to be quite close to that person. Yeah, he didn't know that, though. Who do you think smells best on YouTube? I'll tell you what. Vidal smells good. Vidal, Vidal, Vidal always wears a little bit of... Yeah. Yeah. I always go for the same one, and my, uh, my barber went to me. What's the after, aftershave you smell? I thought he was getting a, you know, a little hint. And he went, yeah, it gives me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't watch YouTube anymore. I was going to say this. That's why I yeah. couldn't pick somebody this year. I generally. What I don't do you watch, watch it anymore? I you, that's why I can't make videos. A lot of porn up. Yeah, that's yeah. it now. If I, I'm going to make videos. This is why Victoria June's cancelled. I'm going to go. I'll tell you what. We need to Lisa. stop, Lisa. And I'll tell you who I do enjoy watching. A guy called Tim Dillon. Right. Um, Tim Dillon. Oh, the comedian. The comedian. Have you ever Tim. seen Fake Business? No. no. Oh, Tim Dillon. There's this. He is, he is such a good comedian, I'm going to have to fuck Is him. he American? Yeah, he, but he's not American in humour. Okay. You, you'd he's, like him. He's very outrageous. Like, yeah. He will say the thing. I think you'll love him, actually. Yeah. He's been my favourite new discovery online. That's good, really yeah. Really funny yeah. guy. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast with Alex Jones the last time. Oh. Yeah. Did you see the... So, Joe Rogan did uh, Kanye West... Mm. But what what I saw was the clips of Joe Rogan before Kanye West came on, just mocking <laughs> saying, him, saying what dickhead he was. <laughs> and it's like, but the uh, we've I'm, all had that moment though, where we absolutely where we, yeah. we come face to face with someone who we probably said some things the, that are. A bit I have it every yeah. single week. Yeah. To be yeah. honest, yeah. Jack would agree. No, Jack had it with Morgs, even I've been there, and it's not even about like whether or not you could punch someone's face and or not. Really, it's more just like Ugh, I, I probably it's shouldn't. An, have until said you that. meet the person, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got this. Pro- you get an exaggerated view of somebody. All he the goes time. the other way, though. Like I had with the F two. Yeah. You thought they were yeah. gods. Yeah. I think if anything, yeah, you played. To, you know what was mental is when that all, that video came out. I'd forgotten all about what we never mentioned it when it all happened. I, we were actually trying to take EXO quite seriously. We were like, look, do we really need this shit right now? Let's no. just focus on us and let it go. But then. When you told the story on Jack's podcast, I was like, oh yeah, that did happen, didn't Legit- it? The, the thing with that, that and was- And then the video comes out and everyone's just tweeting that, me. Like, oh, I never, fuck, I heard what rumors. What am I trending for now? I, and then I was like, oh, it's pretty <laughs> good, actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I'd so always heard rumors, but I didn't realize it. So, it so I night. told that story about 20 times, but to just like, people have come up to me and they, they go on about stuff in like the Wembley Cup and I go in, get, like talk about that story. And they'd be like, what? Let me talk about Jeremy Lynch. Yeah, so I- so basically on that day I remember I came to you didn't I when he was he's just been a knobhead uh, and my, my main regret about that is when they came over with the cameras I sort of took it seriously 
Whereas if I'd just be like, I imagine Nico or Milano would have taken the piss in that scenario mm. and just. Well, do you know what was funny? I really didn't think that they would take the diss track that Stephen did seriously so much so that when they came round our table at the start of the day, I was like, mate, you got to say the the diss track he did on you. This is Fucking it, yeah. hilarious. To be fair, that is on camera. I like, literally said, yeah. oh, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna laugh when you see the video. I literally had no idea that anyone would take that seriously because no. for a start, I'm pretty sure were you dressed up as Batman at one point? Yeah, yeah. Max like, was. Yeah, yeah. Well, clearly, Don't confuse us. I thought the F2 lads would find it funny. <laughs> yeah, I just, I genuinely did. It was because they couldn't laugh at themselves mm. that that is why he has become a meme now. Nation. Yeah, if it had just come out and gone, yeah, I was a bit of a twat, Steven. The, your video was funny. Then there would not be it was, memes. And the worst thing is, the video was they, a gift. Though. They, they, a track was he, a gift. He, he mugs me off in the game. They won the game. They won the tournament. Yeah. You you can't you can't ask for anything more. And that more. was also clearly the implied joke was yeah. that they are obviously the better football. That's it. And so it's like even if you're gonna destroy us, and are they though? If I we said, won one nil. I said we'll beat you. At, <laughs> I said we'll beat you at Wembley by cheating. We lost at Wembley. Egg on my face. But still, that wasn't enough for him. And he, it wasn't just us. He was going around the hashtag lads. I've been over this before. But uh, so Spencer, <laughs> Spencer's done it about four times. Yeah. You know what it is that in my head. So. I didn't. I didn't say anything because I, I was like, oh, "It's been done now. Everyone's seen the video. Whatever." When Spencer, this when, is it. When the nicest guy on YouTube, who mm. I've, I like, you literally diss him on his own stream, and he still said nothing. Yeah. Like when yeah. he does a video on you, you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. This you is fucked it. Yeah. Up. yeah. But I've got an edge to me, but I'm a nice person at the core. Mm. But there, there was something about that day that. Like genuinely, for about a year, it irked me. Whenever I, th whenever I had to get angry, if I was going for a run, I had to sprint. Yeah. I'd think about that moment and wow. I'd just go for it. It's it weird really because got to I, me. when I watched that video back, I thought to myself like, when because I grabbed my arm around you, yeah, and I take you out. Do you, see, do you see my eyes lighting up when you come in? You're like the guy. <laughs> the thing is, Brian, <laughs> I, I knew anything, I knew you were in the vicinity, and I'd. I knew you were going to come over at some point. It was so strange. I knew you were coming at some point. And I was like, I've got an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> okay. so, it and was I think, so funny. I think my dad's partner got you and Zoe got Someone you. Someone came and told me and I yeah. was like, I'm Yeah, but you're, you're fucking boss in that video though. Oh, it's amazing. No, this is the thing though. It's amazing. And I don't mean this. I'm glad I had my like calm head on at that yeah, moment. Yeah, absolutely. Because when I walk away, he mouths off something. And, and, and luckily we were like practically out the door at that yeah. point. But if I'd heard that, I think I probably would have. Like, yeah, well, I was worried. No, in he retrospect, he Adam Boltwood was a good influence on you. Like, yeah, like yeah. genuine. I was worried about my dad kicking off, and uh, my dad's my dad's not you. Uh -huh. My dad's, you know, he, he's he was a doing, hard man. He was doing he was doing bunny ears when I watched back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he was doing the perfect thing, just taking the piss out of them. Yeah. They can't use that footage that they were trying to get, but that would have been that would have been the way to go. But I then, think that's yeah. part of it, isn't it? It's weirdly they've managed to sort of section that off and make that like the the, the mainstream or the the agencies, those sort of people, mm. don't know about that sort of stuff. So yeah. it must come as a real well, surprise they, to they these do agencies. When, so like I, they I, do know they if, just don't I don't care. know if you realize uh, that as well. I seen Sky Sports posted something oh, that they were having yeah. him on, <laughs> oh. and and uh, I seen I Saturday don't know, Social. How many comments yes. were there? Like seven Fucking and a half thousand. Joe, yeah. Joe Tomlinson must have had to bit his tongue because he was there at the at the mm. day, and yeah. you know it's. You, you don't come across well. But, I but guess you know what it is? I, I, I will cut them some slack in the regards of, at some point, everyone around this table, when you get a bit of YouTube fame, you take it a bit too seriously. Absolutely. And yeah, you maybe yeah, think yeah. you're a bit, bit Billy Big Bollocks. But there comes a point where you go, all right, all right this is actually, I'm, I'm getting used to this now. But I just think that that moment didn't come mm. for too long. Yeah. And uh, if I could have, I'd like to have Jeremy on the podcast to go over it, but I just don't think he'd put himself in that position not because. at all but I, also, I think actually I think it would be redeemable. the best thing he could do to go you know what it is he has what happened to me he has why I acted the way I did and he has why yeah. I'm sorry but there's, or, there's so or many questions sorry, about him isn't there yeah. like the, the whole Arsenal vibe and when he got like, kicked out of the academy that's a meme in itself isn't it yeah. the best, best player on the ball that's, that's the biggest meme out of it I think there's sometimes in life where we've all had rejection we've all had knockbacks and it's yeah. about holding your hands up and go yeah, I just wasn't good enough. He, he just whatever. doesn't have the humility. But it, it, but yeah. I do think you get to a certain point. But life brings that to you, Steve. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, I've had those moments many, many times before YouTube, in YouTube, after. I'm sure it will keep happening. But like, when you get humbled, yeah. it's actually a really good thing for you sometimes. Uh, it's always about you, it. It's also there are elements which you don't need to be brought down. You just need to have a, a sense of perspective on it. Yeah. So like even this year in having a son, I was like, fuck, how's he going to think of me in this time? And I think he's going to have to... He's shagger. Gonna, he's going to get to... Top, <laughs> top shagger. He's going to get to a point where he goes, all right, well, what was dad like? 
And someone at the point where you realize what that person is or what I was like is when you think, how would someone else describe me? Not how would yeah. I say I am to that other person, but how would someone else go, he was this or he was that? Like in two generations time, how's someone going to go, yeah. who's this guy in this picture here? Like, what was he like? And I think he'll reach a point in his life where he goes, fuck, like I've really f- what, fucked what, that are up. Are you worried if your son asks Robbie from AFTV? <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, you say that, but Robbie and I are actually on really good terms. He said it on a live stream not long ago. So. Really? Are you yeah, serious? Mad respect. Yeah. Well, we haven't spoken since, but he did say he's got, he's got mad respect for Lawrence. So, yeah. Wow. Mad. Mm. Not just respect. I, I actually, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I don't really want YouTube beef for beef that. Beef isn't worth nah, it, is it? It's fucking it's 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 all like, yeah. like, yeah. The anxiety yeah. that comes with it. Like, I just want to make videos, log off and cash it. Financially, yeah. Yeah. financially <laughs> though. Honestly, it. yes. Like, even with Jeremy... Uh, uh, Sorry. You know, to be honest, I actually thought it was that it was Gosh. it was Jeremy's mate who come across as the biggest bell end in that video. But even with yeah. Jeremy, I think there's a mum. We all accept that the kid's talented and he's got a lot of things to. to yeah, to absolutely. Make money. He, yeah, he's right. relatively very caught, successful. He's, very you say successful. He's caught, I because I look at Jeremy and I've spoken to a lot of people about it and I go, but I I like. I don't think Nessa, I mean Kevin was a dick but I don't think what he did was like oh get rid of Jeremy Lynch I think the bastard. problem with, the problem is for Jeremy is over the years there were so many times where little things like that had happened to so many different people that he'd been on shoots with and the, the little things and they mount up and eventually a whole group of people went should we, we, should we just experience. get him? Exactly. Should we get him? Yeah. And that's basically what happened. And yeah. every, the, the chickens came home to fucking roost for the kid. The, and, yeah, and don't I give, don't give that, the excuse. healthiest thing you can do in that moment is actually go, I've got to get a handle on this and address it and actually accept what I've done and go, you know what it is? I've been a bit of a dick. I'm, I'm learning from this and now I realise where I've gone wrong. But that's but, what happened. But I think when, when the, the mistake he made was sweeping it under the carpet and hoping it would go away. Yeah. And, and to say in that Sky comment thing, uh, all those thousands of people being like, does Jez Shaggy's Audi R8 all yeah. these comments uh, <laughs> it, it's because you haven't yes. you haven't laughed Brilliant. at yourself and you yeah. haven't acknowledged it even now it's, it's good to, it's until you laugh at yourself it? so until, so yeah. until Jez well. comes out and goes I'm going to get my arms around this and, and accept it and, and accept what I've done yeah. wrong the Batman it's, it's going to follow well. him forever yeah. 100% that's why when the DMs happen I went first week Take this on, it's over. Yeah. And you, oh, thank God. Yeah. You let me roast you. <laughs> yeah. Of all Spit people. Roast. Oh, they didn't say that, did <laughs> yeah, they? Yeah, but you handled, you handled that perfectly this as you went it. through that shit. Yeah. Like, like, that was, no pun intended. Yeah, yeah. I actually Terrible didn't mean that. Yeah. But, but I'm like, sure you didn't. No, I genuinely, <laughs> genuinely didn't. Because if you did, we'll fucking knock you through a wall. You would yeah. never. I would fucking. He would. You would. I would fucking you bend you over, yeah. Jeremy Lynch is still in that eight year old mindset where he cannot laugh at himself. And I'm sorry, if you sit there, if you sit there with your mate Bill and goes, oh, Arsene Mate, Wenger said I was one of the best on the ball. What the fuck are you on about? You've got to make a joke. You've got, you've, got you, to make, you've got to follow up with a joke anyway. Yeah. Even even because the thing is, I don't necessarily doubt that that story is true oh, because it, he's, a, he's a youth player, and you'd like to hope that Arsenal Football Club, at least back then, still had some hope. No, <laughs> not anymore. It's, it's, I think it's, it's uh, maybe, maybe they told banter. him that in order to yeah, make him feel banter. better yeah. as they're kicking yeah. him out the door, it, but. To then repeat that and not look back and realise why they were saying that to you. Yeah. If Arsenal really thought that, bro, you'd be there. Yeah, well, that's what happened, yeah. that's what happened to me at Bournemouth. So, they said I was thing, the best player in the world. Really? Well, I yeah, actually had some still. good chats with Jez like, at times and I got on with him and I thought, you know, yeah, you rub people up the wrong way sometimes, but I, 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 there's likeable things about his personality. That's so true. When you're like one on one with him, yeah. he can't be likeable. But, but can't anyone, but, though? Yeah. And, but yeah, but all they can, the, they can, they can. But yeah, all but these stories. Mm-hmm. You need to get your hands around the situation, or, or I guess, or just continue doing what the fuck you're doing. I mean, if you make some people just think I'm making money, I'm winning, fuck everyone, I don't care what they think. And actually, maybe he's got the right idea in that regard. But I think knowing his ego, he won't like that. No. And he, he and and I, I've got an ego. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like people continuously ripping the piss out of me. But they're only doing it because they think it really bothers you. People want their peers to remember them well. They want the people who are around them and in their industry Mm. to go, yes, this guy did something well. They don't want to be followed by these silly rumors because they realize that at some point, someone in someone in time will look back, do some research and find you and go, why did that person say? And one day we'll have that, Jack. So we're all grown men. Like I, I think, like, I brought you in to make it easier on me. <laughs> okay. We, we, we all got Get into harder. YouTube at like a young age, some younger than others, and, and we, we've, we've all fucked up so much because of that. It would be good if, like, I don't know, 
Jez, Spencer, me, and, and anyone, the people involved in that could sit around and be like, oh, fuck me. Can I tell you that, won't it? Why don't, don't we make, make, why don't we make this a public invite to get Jez on the True Geordie I'd have I'd have yeah. I think he'd be, uh, I generally think if he came out and just spoke about it honestly, I think he came out. He'd, he'd be, he'd yeah. be well. <laughs> if he came out as gay, yeah. it would be great for him. Now, I, think he, I think he'd instantly turn the ties, genuinely. I, I know yeah. he would, but th- because I've seen the vulnerable side of him in chats, but it's about just having the bravery to be like, I was going to listen. Everybody yeah, I know, yeah. everybody it, I know yeah. who works for him now only says really positive things. No, so, so fuck off. No, they do. Fuck I, off. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I know people. You right? need to sort of discuss sports a bit more. We've talked to different people. I, I know then. people that like work behind the scenes with like clothing companies and big brands. And when I, when I'm, when you came on the podcast and we've all spoken about it, and I made that video about hacks, I've had so I've never ever had so many uh, what messages going. You, Jeremy Lynch is actually a prick. I right? Me I messaged Jack straight away. Yeah. I was like, I know, oh, I he's never. such a knob. Yeah. I've, I've, I've never, it's all right for us to do it. We might have something to gain. I've been known in the past, which I regret now, but calling people out because I know it's going to boost my profile. Yeah. Right? These people that work for these top companies that are behind the scenes that no one knows who the fuck they are, they have nothing to gain. Message of me going, I'm so glad you made that video because he's a prick. One of the people, people might be able to work this out. I don't care. But one of the people I know closely, who's one of the nicest people in the world. Nobby s- rocks. S- <laughs> <laughs> so said that, uh, said, that, that said, that, said that he worked with him and, 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 he, and he just wasn't a nice guy and I could repeat the stories here but it wouldn't be fair to him but no, if, if someone like that Willie is saying Bingham. it if someone like that is saying it you need to take a good hard look I th- I think, and, and, and I think when you're in front of the camera and this is something people don't usually admit so I'm mm. going to admit it anyway you start thinking you're better than what you are or mm. whatever it yeah. can get a hold of you out of nowhere you've got all these people telling you fucking great mm. I love your videos Brian all this shit and sometimes it does penetrate your, your mind because how can you not you're just a person and sometimes that just gets it gets away from you and you, you start thinking oh, yeah, I'm fucking great aren't mm. I and <laughs> you know because it, without self belief well why the fuck wouldn't I have been where I am in the first place this so is with it. people reinforcing that yeah. it can turn you into a bit of an arsehole mm. And you know you get humbled, reined in, whatever happens. That's all right. It's quite the, poetic that you're you're going on this tirade, and there's a picture of Tony Montana behind, <laughs> behind you. It's like literally like the script of Scarface. He's, he's, he's my fucking hero. Yeah, yeah, the script, yeah. There's a the thing about young footballers is it's such a it's such a strange mentality Mate, for them. I, I don't know if you heard like, that story recently about how that young kid was released from a football club. It's fucking himself. horrible. Oh, it's, so, it's so it's so sad, yeah. isn't and, it? And that's the thing. You're, some it's people, horrible. They, they have their whole life built into this. Like I am going to be a footballer one day. When they get that removed from them, sometimes the worst can happen. Well, and, other, and other times, you know. Jez, for example, got a second wind and Absolutely. He, he found his way in the entertainment he's, industry. And that's it. He, he is so he successful. He's more successful than most footballers. You've got to yes, give it to genuinely, him. Genuinely, genuinely. He really is. He's absolutely yeah. smashing it. And the thing is with young footballers, if they get you know kicked back at 16, 17, Jamie Vardy, what was he, 22 when he, even later in life, he came to the Premier League. He's one of the best Premier League strikers we've seen. Mm. It's a, it's a strange well, world for them Well, that's be. where that Bournemouth joke came from with the whole I play for Bournemouth. Because Alex, my, you're not going to be in the Premier League <laughs> again. <laughs> because my my mate, my because it came from the fact that my mates played for Bournemouth and every single one of them got knocked back. It was like every year a new one got released. So I had about three mates who played for him. And they all were convinced they were going to be footballers. Mm. And now they all work at the pub. You've mm. got to be, though, so haven't you? In you have moment. to be. Yeah, well, your par- well, number one, your parents drill it into you. But then also, like, what does that do for somebody? Which is why when I saw that, when I see that clip of him being like, oh, the best on the ball player, that's him still trying to convince himself. If he took the piss out of himself, it'll all be over. But can I can I ask a question here? And I genu- genuinely want to know your opinion on this, right? So the man like hack stuff, right? Yeah. We all know what he did. And we all know that... Oh, he's a the, fucking runner. We all know the... Uh, kind of kickback that he got from that like I made a piss take video you was in it uh, Loz and I, I think like I think, it, I, like I think I think it was a funny video right but a couple of weeks relatively until I was in it yeah. it was hilarious <laughs> yeah that was, the, that was the best bit I'll give yeah. you that but a couple of weeks later so we're in the pub me and Stevie in Bristol and I shit myself and I'll be honest and I don't mind this staying in I want to know your opinion like we see sorry did you actually shit yourself no I didn't okay. no, no, <laughs> no, no, anything no, to do with no, the video no, 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 but, but when he says like, staying but, in he means but, in his jeans yeah. but people think oh Jack mate calls people out doesn't care like I do care I don't want anyone to fucking like loathe you or anything yeah, yeah. yeah like, I, do, I do care what people think of me especially yeah. in the space but I, we get sent this um 
Instagram story from my mate Schaefer Bates, the impressionist, and he was like, yeah. have you seen what Hacks has put on his story? So Hacks, I don't know if you saw it, but he put on his story a, um, a, a quite a, a powerful video of him crying in the car. Mm. And he was like, oh, this just keeps happening to me. I'm not that person anymore. So I want to know, he was obviously a cunt. He threatened to fucking stab someone at a football, a f- yeah. YouTube football event. At what point can you not take the piss I- out of someone in the worry that they're going to do something to themselves? Can I just say- like, Does that make sense? Can I just say- mm-hmm. Hacks, uh, Hacks DM me saying he was sorry about what happened. I DM'd with about four messages back saying, "I'm, you know, I, I accept your apology. Thank you for that." I don't think either of us came across how we want to on right. that day. Yeah, he never, he never replied to that. So that's what makes me think, you know, is it just an apology for apology's sake? It's my right. Name is Ill. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say, if he's a comedian, yeah, like myself, I regret how I came across that day. Because I, I shouldn't have taken them seriously. And you weren't as funny as you could have been. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Never is. Yeah. I wanted I, I Max to want to I, I, I did enjoy happen. the line about um, how many retweets he gets. And right. I, said, I said 100 likes, yeah. <laughs> I've done my research. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's, it was far too was egoy. Childish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I didn't come across well in that. I see what you're saying, though. But if he's... I get that he can be funny. I, I see that. Well, comedy is subjective. I think exactly. it's a load of fucking shite. Absolutely. But, but regardless. A, wi- wait, wait. a wig and an accent, you know. But I, I do see the comedy aspect to him. And mm. if he wants to be funny, absolutely go for it. Mm. But you can't take yourself so seriously. You, no. can't, you can't be the enforcer at a fucking charity You know match. what I mean? The issue is, is that he will have people on his side going, and it was, you should apologise. And then he'll have people going... Fuck Stephen Charles, he deserved it. Can I and just... And then he'll be there, he'll, he'll send you the apology, and then he'll be like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to go further because I don't want it to make it seem like I'm a big pussy. Yeah. And then it will just, I mean, it hits this weird stalemate where you don't really know what's going Can on. Can I just say, like, I've got, I've got no bad blood with it because it, mm. was, it was done and it's done. Mm. Like, it's a fucking charity. And in the end, it was yeah. really funny. All the videos are really funny. This is yeah. it. Not all of them. Big views. Um, even James Alcott. Mm. Uh, like I said <laughs> but I, I uh, it's a joke <laughs> it's a joke <laughs> yeah. uh, that definitely wasn't funny <laughs> <laughs> so, but my issue was was that if he's the comedian on their team and I knew he was and that's why what on the coach there he shouted something out and I went oh he's doing one of his characters I was just putting him down just because it was comedian to comedian that was my idea yeah same I just, level I was trying to get ways. one up on him hmm but if if he's going to be the enforcer, you can't at the end of a match when you've won, come over and be could be like I shank you, mate. Yeah, you can't do yeah. that. No, you've got to be none like, of it adds up. That's, got, that's part of the that's problem. That's it. I got I got mugged off by Jeremy in the game. He should have been like, what happened to you in the football match? And I I came over when he came over to me. I was laughing. I was like, oh, he's he's mugged me off here because yeah. I've done a diss track and they've just fucking beat us. Mm. And then when he comes on with that aspect and they shank me, I came mm. to Lawrence because I was like. I need someone to back me up. I don't know what course, to do here. This course. is ridiculous. And then I came to Brian. I was like, Brian was being interviewed. I came over to him. And I was like, Brian, this lad, he's just threatened to shank me. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. You can't on. be a part-time comedian Wembley. in this line. No. You have to be a comedian the whole this time. Is, this, yeah. is, this is mm. the very definition of part-time. Yeah. Full-time twat. Yeah. Part-time yeah. comedian. Yeah. That's how but you come across. I just say that he did apologise. Lawrence, though, what do you think? Because I'm genuinely Barely. intrigued to know. Like, So if somebody does something that we consider bad, like the shanking thing, then someone makes a comedy video that poking on that. Bad. Let's not skirt around the issue here. What we're talking about is if that person then takes that personally, they become a meme online mm-hmm. and then they hurt themselves. Who is to blame there? Like, can you? Because it gets to a point where then you can't call anyone out for doing anything. Well, that's part of the problem, isn't it? It's like the, there's an element of personal responsibility, right? Which right. everyone has to take. Right. Yeah. But I also think some people think can then take it too far, so it goes the other way. But I also think you have to be willing to stand up for the con. You have to be willing to be there for the consequences of what you've done. Not everything has to be all like sunshine and rainbows in this your life. Yeah. And the problem is, I think there's a lot of people who do also want to say like, well, that video is the definitive video video of yours. Well, like, let's go through anyone's career, anyone's back catalog. Mm. You'll see evolution in your stuff. You'll see evolution in your stuff. You'll see evolution in everyone's stuff. The problem is, everyone wants to nail you to that one video and go, in that one moment, you made that mistake, and that's you now. Yeah. And it's not. And and mm. frankly, like it's none of any of us. This we can make it, any yeah. joke. I made a joke ten minutes ago, probably that I don't even think is funny now. Mm. But the fact whoa, is, whoa, at least whoa, I, it was funny. But <laughs> I don't think it was funny. But my my but should the, have said it. But ten minutes ago, I thought it was funny. But the point is, you're at least you're taking the risk. At least you're trying.
crying yeah for the people who just sit there in the safe zone and just go everything's safe here absolutely i i know what's morally right yeah like we've all been in that space we do that on true news all the time and there are plenty of people you wouldn't be a comedian if you did no but that's the point Mm. like brian the problem for brian and i is we run up with people on true news who take themselves very very seriously it's horrible and then they send us messages afterwards and go well what's this and you're like mate you can say whatever you want back it's absolutely fine it Mm. doesn't mean anything like that much out of true news just question though like you know where is the line I mean it depends on the person I guess and depends on how well you yeah, know them mm. but if we don't know them which is the general thing of what you, we all do around you thank you if someone acts like a cunt you deserve You're to allowed be, to tell you, them. You deserve to be told. Yeah, that, you know I, what I mean. Yeah, yeah too I, true. I think I think the only difference is if you, I, I know TG2. people You're where I I have known I have been on a side where I know people are making videos on other people I know, and I've gone to them and gone. I don't think you want to make that video, not because it's like uh, going to be a bad thing. Can we give the example, please? No, I'm not giving an example. But I've, got, but I've gone. I don't think you want to make that video. I never I don't, the I, don't, e-boys. I don't think you want to be the person who pushes that person to the edge. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't very, very serious. And I've gone. I've, got, I've not. I've gone. Number one, you don't want to push somebody too far. I went. There's a video, and it's funny. As long as the video is funny, I don't think it matters. The joke just has to be funny. The, the, if the video is funny and the other person takes it very really seriously, it's, it's like you know. But if you're going, if you're going really in on somebody mm. and you know that they're at a bad point, yeah, then you've got to take some responsibility. But the there. problem is Absolutely. sometimes it isn't it's, actually it's funny. Yeah. So there are some people who we've encountered, I think, online where. I think they think they're being funny. Right. And they're not being funny. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I guess that, like you say, it's subjective. So anyone can go into any space and go, well, that's not really very funny because mm. they don't have the same reference points but as we every, do. Every, but context changes so quickly. Absolutely. So, so, yeah. Yeah. The issue. so let me say If you've never seen The Office, you might genuinely look mm. at True News or any of this stuff and go, mm. the fuck are these guys yeah. talking yeah. about? Why, this why are they calling people mean? out? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What do you guys think of this? And Fiona's going to tense up now and probably think I shouldn't say this. Fiona, can you really spit in the mouth? Well, this is something. Can we bring Fiona in soon? Point. She, she, she won't. Yeah, she, she won't come in. Come she won't come Fiona. in. I respect but, that, Fiona. She's on the payroll. She'll do what you say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Forty <laughs> grand a year for that. that. Love, you're going wherever he says. Right? I'm going back to Tesco and yeah. she come on here right yeah. now. So. Oh God! You Max, worked in Tesco. Huh? Max doesn't get forty grand a year. I know it wasn't Tesco, but you don't like me to say the place. Why so was the place? Yeah. You've, got, you've got a bit See? of a Tesco oh, face. Sainsbury's, and you've got the black people, black people in the advert. I had to stutter over that, didn't I? I had to stutter over the black people. God. Fucking hell. God. To be fair, Matt, He's I, being I, ironic. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't relate. Yeah. I didn't He's relate because I couldn't see myself. I've already done the satirical sketch. We'll move on. <laughs> yeah. Go I see myself. I'm on the good <laughs> side. Yeah. Which one's so what, Let's what? see what the black people think, Stephen. <laughs> I, How am I supposed to know who I am unless I'm represented in exactly. a fucking scenes yeah. Yeah. advert? Yeah. I've listened to Rizzle Kicks. Yeah. yeah. We all shop at Waitrose. <laughs> Brian, Brian relates to the snowmen. <laughs> right. We don't have a Waitrose in Manchester. We do. We've got a booth. Rightly so. We do. We'll send me there once to get props for a fucking video. So anyway, she works in a poundland, and what's the point? (laughs) Just point out, Mark Upson, part of the F2, is a lovely bloke. Don't worry about it. No, go on. Go on. Go on. We were talking about where the line is in comedy, right? Right. And we were talking about how context changes all the time. Yeah. So this is something I got a lot of shit earlier in the year. Oh, why is the shit again? Yeah, the roast video is over now. Oh, sorry. So it's only two years ago. So, you know. <laughs> this is what I mean by context changing and talking about the, the the dark side of if somebody hurts, like does something, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so obviously um, it's a touchy subject, and I don't know if you want to keep this in or not, right? But obviously there was some tragic news earlier this year about Caroline Flack. Right? Yeah. Now n- no one would make any light of that situation. It's a terrible, terrible situation. Yeah. I have a thing on the YouTube channel where I take the piss out of Love Island mm-hmm. all the time. She's, sure. the, she's yeah. the host of Love Island. Somebody went in that was uh, that claimed that Lewis Capaldi wrote the song Someone You Loved yeah, about yeah. her. Yeah. So I made the joke, oh, that's weird because somebody... Uh, somebody claimed that no what was it so I made the joke that there's a song written about Caroline Flack as well uh, Bruises because she went through the domestic abuse thing yeah, right? yeah. T- funny it, was joke. A, it was a current Fun- joke yeah yeah, yeah. Joke. I, sta- yeah. I stand by it to this day yeah. do, we, do we laugh I, I get it I get, no, yeah, yeah. I, 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 no but this yeah. is the thing I get Alex it. this is the thing I wouldn't make that joke yeah. now no, because no. of the context right absolutely but, but, but it wasn't funny then but, but, <laughs> 
<laughs> but but the thing is, I I, I think it was an, a, a good joke. Like, it's yeah, it's a edgy, but it's funny, up, yeah. Right. And then obviously a couple of months later, everyone's going to the video going, oh, this aged terribly. I was like, well, of course it's aged mm. terribly, it- but I'm not making a joke about what happened to her. I'm making a joke about the terrible thing yeah. that she supposedly did. So, no. it, so based on that, it's going to get- You know you're saying it's true because it's a joke. Can I just say- well, well, she, a, It's a setup and a punchline. It's clear what that's the implication it. I've got, is. I've got the exact same situation. With me and JJ did a sketch three years ago four years ago and he's uh, I'm an American police officer he's he's a he's a <laughs> I see where this one's he's going person, yeah. he's, I'd love to see the I'm, role play behind I'm, I'm way over it. the top you get it but then people are, people are going taking the clip out of context and going this age terribly exactly like mm, you did mm. I'm like no we're making a point about what they're like in yeah. America and that's kind of the point I don't think a lot of people get that but like how important it's called the, parody yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not only is it called yeah. parody but like the whole reason that the king has a jester in the court is to bring out things that you're not allowed to talk about in like you know civilised life so the jester's be, supposed to be able to stand there and say whatever they want I've not seen that in the crown <laughs> and everyone the queen should have a jester yeah well, Peter K comes out yeah. <laughs> garlic bread <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's all, but that's, that's his whole career. You're supposed to be able to walk out, and that person is supposed to be able to go. Here's a joke that makes light of something. And the whole point of a joke is there's like a hint of truth at the very centre of yeah, it of that course, everyone's yeah. going, "God, that's funny," but it's yeah. like it hinges on that because yeah. if, if the joke's not true in some way, then everyone just sort of goes. Well, I don't know what is, yeah, what is the truth that's yeah. part of why some jokes work for some people and mm. some people don't because some people get what the truth in that that's moment it, is yeah. so when you were some saying the don't. meal deal question shit you genuinely meant that didn't you no Ooh. but that's the thing here's the funny thing right I, I genuinely love that Tudor kind of content and sweet corn for me like, I love chatting about just like shit. trivial shit mm. right but that's just not what we do I here get, I yeah. get. but that's fine yeah. like genuinely I'd like to know Jack, Jack Whitehall what he'd get a meal deal. <laughs> right. Genuinely, I would. I'd love to it, know what that. Like you say, it's the normality. <laughs> yeah. No, you and Jack Whitehall. That was yeah. A bit of a I like Jack Whitehall. I quash that. I like Jack Whitehall. I, like Jack Whitehall. So, yeah. I do like him. He's a. He's a good comedian. I'll tell you someone, I, uh, someone random that intimidated me quite a lot when I met them. It's someone that you, you're, you're pals with. Paul Lo- Catwood. Logan Paul. Sean Atwood. And, and mm, I know that's going to make me seem like a bit of a simp or whatever. No, no. But I'll tell you what, like... I, you want to fuck I, him? I think I'm confident enough I to, would. like, if I call someone out online, when I see him in person, I can carry on that and, like, and call him up. <laughs> that was the first time where I felt like a bit of a butler when I went to the fight. And I, I've, I've called Logan Paul out numerous times, of course. Then he walked him Gail past, then, and, and this is the thing, yeah. So he's walked past me, and we're doing this whole thing about his dad. And that was the first time where I completely bottled it. And Alfie was there, and I went, "I'm not going to speak to him." And then I walked away, and Alfie was like, "You have to speak to him." And Jake Paul called you, pussy. Yeah, <laughs> well, it, it's it's the guy, isn't it? I mean, right now. Logan's the biggest star on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, how, the, he's dragged Floyd Mayweather into a fight with him. This yeah. is throw it out. Yeah, this is this should never have happened. Yeah. Can I like, just say, any this, uh, any big stars watching? I was the uh, draft champion in year five. What? what, what, what you were ten. Lo- at the time. Logan started boxing was, yeah. in 2018. Mm. No. Three years later, but he's fighting the greatest that, fighter of all time. You can't oh, you can't that, knock it. No, you can't this, knock this it. is it. And, this, and, this, and, I, and I generally believe he's one of the main people who has actually turned around and changed. Yeah, he's so self aware now. Bro, it's, Logan it's Paul's beautiful. speech on the BLM movement was fucking powerful. He's, like, it's it got was like the English, powerful. it's got like the English we'll personality. We're, we're talking it? about people yeah. who've been cancelled. That he is the living embodiment he's, of he's what class can, now. Yeah, cancelled is bullshit. Mm. And what annoys me is I was, one, I feel like I was one of the first British YouTubers to actually see. Oh, you're actually. Yeah, fair play. And, and when I made friends with them, it's like you fucking two faced cunt. You're supposed to be into the case. Yeah, like, you he's slug. actually He's all right. Think, <laughs> thinking about Jack's situation. You're literally trying to take the piss out of this guy's dad. By this point, Logan is a trained fighter. Um, yeah, and Lo- could and Logan, kill me. Logan is a big lad. Like, like, what is he? Six three. I did judo like in year six. Um, and he's. Walk- I, I, I get what you mean. And the ma- the main thing that people don't get about the kid is uh, <laughs> he's um, he's kind of like he's quite striking when he m- walks when he walks into a room. Most of the room are like, oh, this guy's a. Handsome, charismatic motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. He, Max he, Smith. He quite he command mm-hmm. like the him and JJ thing. Um, they're yeah. very different people actually. Like JJ's more low key. Very he's British type blood. Yeah, he's yeah. you know, more likely to have his hood up. Not really. He plays want, it down. Yeah. Whereas pull up, pull up Logan is, lead him. He walks in the room and he's like, mm. "I'm here, but Ro- yeah. Yeah. yeah." Logan's more like Lambo Lamborghini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, uh, my cousin said to me once that there's people in life that like who are maybe famous or on the way up that when they walk in the room you can tell. It's there's like, the, the, there's mm. that and I think when I met him he was someone where I was like 
I can tell there's something about you. I think that's actually yeah, helped. Yeah, I did a podcast with you today, this Jack. Is, that's helped Jake, you know. I think Jake living in his brother's shadow or whatever the fuck's gone on there. In I think that shit. that's where this fucking anger comes from. Is like, if you can imagine being the shorter, not as good looking, not as charismatic, not as adored, maybe, as, as Logan is. Dirty and smelly. Like, you're... You're constantly talked about as an, an inferior yeah, guy yeah, yeah. to Logan Paul. It's so he's, the he's it's, it? it's gone to a point where he's like, now I'm going to be the bad guy. Now I'm yeah. going to embrace yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to lean into this, and I think it's kind of made him. I mean that that call out video of Conor McGregor was the most leaned in bad guy I've ever seen. Bro, like, he, they're fucking. He calls his wife within five seconds of the fucking video stop. I mean, he's got a team there who's gone. Yeah, go with that, mate. Yeah. I mean, I think he was yeah, about camera, thirty seconds from calling out his son, wasn't he? Did you but, have the cameraman? That, in the video, the cameraman sighs at the end and they leave. Does it he? So Jake finishes, the camera goes. <sighs> <laughs> and it's like, but, but you, it's the funniest I, part. I get oh, what you fuck. mean about that being a really good um, thing, like a clever move from Jake, but I just found it so cringy. I oh, just yeah. thought it could be done so much better. Like, it was. It, it, when he rushes uh, it, Because it, if that's, and I understand why it's clever, him calling him out, but if that's clever, then anyone can do it. I mean, like, it raises his stock tenfold, it, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. but, but did he, do you think he, he purposely made that video mate, shit? Mate, if I do that in front of my mum's uh, Mini Cooper, who's going, Stephen means I, I business. The, <laughs> the, point, the point that it made, as a fight fan, the point that it made me think is, God, you're, you're actually showing how this should be done in a way. Like other fighters, the reason McGregor got where he got was because he knew how to talk shit. Whereas, yeah. Like, whereas he, he, he's talked, this is the thing, Floyd Mayweather has been finessed into a fight with Logan Paul. Jake is in the process of trying to finesse these he, big names into he, a ring with He's him. got mm. Nate Diaz to bite like that. Mate, he's got them all he? on strings immediately. Absolutely. They're all chirping up because Cut. they know he, this is crazy, but him as a whatever, how many fights he's had, will make more money for, with them Absolutely. than they can make in the UFC or in the boxing ring on their Fighting own. Fighting a real fight. Yeah, like yeah. They, they, that's why they've become big draws immediately. Think about how long Nate Diaz has fought for years and years. Yeah, it's crazy. And then Michael Bisping just said, he, like they've been in contact with him about Jake Paul fighting Michael fucking Bisping. Fucking hell. Mad. Like Yol Romero as well. Yeah. He's called him out. Bisping's been like, I'll do it. Where, where, where do I say? Well, it's so well, contrived, isn't it? This, the end of the year. People are talking about like MMA fans going, oh, what'd you make of these YouTubers talking about that? But all the MMA fighters are calling out these YouTubers going, I'll take the fight. Mm. Like Yoel Romero has just left the UFC. He's calling out Jake Paul instantly. I'm, I get it, as soon right? As he can. Mad. So, to play devil's advocate, does that Ooh. mean we're missing out on some of the great fights of our time because these people are going cool? I can cash in. No, is no. Like, th this is the problem. I'm in, with you. in real I'm fighting, with you. in the UFC and in boxing, they're both not giving the fans what they want to see. Yeah, yeah. So Jake and Logan have come in and gone. <laughs> We can exploit this. And they're dragging these fighters into fights with them because the UFC, there's so many fights that should have happened in the last 12 months that haven't happened. And mm. it's not just because of fucking COVID. It's because they're not getting like Conor McGregor hasn't fought in 12 months. Yeah. Why, why not? You know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. Francis Ngannou should have had a fucking world title fight. Hasn't yeah. happened. You've got AJ, hasn't, but only just fought first time. Uh, Tyson Fury, not fought in 12 months. All of the, we're starved. And he's a fighting we're, man. We're, we're starved of fight, good fights. And Logan and Jake are stirring this shit up going, I'll fight any of you. I'll get the money together. I've got rich mates. We'll all yeah. we'll make it happen. Like, it's actually really Sport. It's it, good for the sport, isn't it? Though whichever sport they choose to pick on, it's good for it. Is there it's, an element of when when Jake Paul calls calls out these people? Like, is he is his ego so big that he thinks he has a chance, or does he know he'll get beat up? But I, th I think he, I think he thinks he has a chance. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You've got, of uh, course. As long as you're in the ring with someone, you. Got a chance, You've got a chance, right? yeah. Really, no, really, I, I, really, I, I, think, I think he genuinely to, to the thinks he's got that underdog guys. power as and well. Got, of like the amount of training he does and the coaches, you got to think about the people around him. They're all going, yeah, you'll yeah. do this. I guess also they know if he goes for it, they get paid. But yeah. the problem is, Brian, there is there is a point where the money that you earn from it outstrips the skill level that you have, right? So yeah, if he's yeah. sitting there with a fifty million dollar check next to his car, the skill that he's going to exhibit for the amount of money that he's getting is not proportional. I, I, I feel the McGregor call out was inspired directly by Mayweather I think he's like who do I go after my brother's got Mayweather absolutely yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. they're constantly competing with each other like, the only person who's a bigger star than Mayweather is, is McGregor, McGregor. Yeah, even absolutely. though 
agree with the one. It doesn't matter. He's yeah. the bigger star. So he's like, I've got to drag him into this somehow. Yeah. And McGregor, as he's read the message, hasn't oh, yeah, he? Yeah. The DM. Yeah, yeah. And not replied. What's that? And McGregor's, McGregor's read, read the message. Someone's DM'd him. Someone's, DM'd him. Yeah, someone's yeah. all on scene because he was DMing him. He DM'd saying, like, him, yeah. Let's do the fucking About fight. the fight. But and someone's read it. it. We, obviously, McGregor's not the only one. But if you get McGregor into ring with you, you've won. We know you can read DMs without them being seen. So he's fucked up there. He's gone past the first sentence and gone. Yeah. I'll see that. Yeah, yeah, true. He's bitten. Yeah. Fuck him out. It's, it's about like... As soon as you call on the wife, that's when you've got a little that's nibble. The, that's yeah. the bit there is where I think the public then go, cool, you've not called out Conor McGregor, you've actually just and, dissed his wife. And, and also, and McGregor, that wasn't true. She's actually a beautiful woman. She's, what the fuck he is a beautiful woman. That's such but, a bastard move to... But 50 it, million for a fight. I mean, obviously I'm not Conor McGregor, but I'll take that. <laughs> For a fucking scrap. For a fucking scrap with a YouTuber. Think, I think he's... Be over a minute, isn't it? Surely. Exactly. I don't know what you're exactly. thinking. Does and Logan thought, have a chance against Mayweather? Not a chance. No. Not a chance in hell. No way. But like he's he's big in his shunk, but, but like Mayweather... They're like, who cares? He wins. Do you know what it is, right? Do you wins. know if this was a, a, a real fight? Like, I don't know what this... I've got a feeling... Like a street fight? And I've, I don't know what's going to happen. Like this super <laughs> exhibition. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, shank, yeah. Well, it's, it seems like there's zero chance, but my mate who's into boxing reckons no. If you get one punch, then it could be May over. Mayweather but isn't are getting. We, are we pissing in the wind here? Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, do you know what I mean, like, no, we, I, I genuinely would like. This is the thing. Oh god, this. We learned. We learned this with McGregor. No, if Logan knocked Mayweather out, I wouldn't be shocked. I what? would. I would. What fifty like, and out to like? I shit my pants. No, but, but we're, oh and we're just talking no, no, about. I like, shit my Logan's, River Island Logan's pants. Really I'm, nice I'm not saying him. this is going to happen before people fuck. But when a fucking two hundred pound man hits a. 150 Wait, pound man well yeah it can happen you does like Logan it. have the ability to lamb one on him though well I mean it's it's unlikely he's going to land we a knockout punch we but want Logan it's to not win. like unthinkable because then, then JJ's the greatest boxer of all time mm. he is though and he are is. you saying nay <laughs> but it's Floyd not is not knocking Logan Paul out I'm, you don't right. think? I'm telling you that now he's, he's out scoring Floyd Mayweather is not finishing Logan Paul and that Logan is a Paul. huge and win and for me anyway. that's a win I, I, that's I a can, win people are instantly going to go wow can I say at least right, right, exactly. I can, I can see the ref that, going so like that I can see the ref calling it off I can see see that. I'll tell you what I can see it it's a six round fight Right? Is it? So it took him 10 rounds to get I'll do that 10 rounds It took him 10 rounds to get Floyd Out of there Logan, has to be the Logan is very fit He's very big And he's very strong To, to bring a man Shag That size then. down it, it, you, Floyd oh, doesn't knock Like small guys out Within six rounds Ricky now, Hatton got sparked Skill wise It's different Manchester's right? Ricky Skill wise they're, the, Floyd Ricky. fights <laughs> Floyd fights guys Who <laughs> Sorry, are way better Than Logan skill wise I'm just saying You're not knocking Logan out He's not going to finish him I'd, I'd finish him I'd go finish him off Logan. Your face. <laughs> yeah. I'd go Logan. Your I'd podcast. Finish, off any day. Your podcast isn't all that, mate. <laughs> and then I'd come in his face oh, right. and I'd go. All right, this has gone to ra- wreck. But seriously though, I let's, do. Let's I, get. Let's look. Jack no, the, the, the Logan. Wow. Logan Paulson is it's very good. Any acne? No, we've Don't. got this. Let's we let's, let's let's I'm not let's sure you've got this. Let's ourselves and go. What was our greatest moment of 2020? Because it's been a difficult oh, yeah, we'll, year. We'll finish the podcast okay, on that. Best yeah, that's a nice end. All right. yeah. yeah, best best moment of 2020. Yeah. Go on, Brian. My best moment of 2020. Hmm. Well, kind of sharing in it was Lawrence on, becoming right, okay, a dad. Go, yeah. Oh, that's oh, nice. Lovely. That is nice. That was my happiest moment. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. I think 2020 has been a shared year of. Um, yeah wins in the sense that we've gotten some contracts we've really wanted yeah. but also obviously I think a tough uh, year for everyone I, I actually think all of us have probably received messages from people where they've been like you know what it's been the worst year of my life blah 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 and I felt really terrible about oh, then us doing me. true news or us doing podcasts yeah, and that, going that, that's a good point is uh, with so just to give a shout out to Gymshark when Gymshark uh, came in I was like not really thinking about like looking after myself and stuff and I was like fuck me I should probably start like, you know, hmm. trying, I mean, to, trying to look like I got in the gym again. For 40 grand, I would. Uh, <laughs> it was more than that. Much more than that. Thank you very much. In all seriousness, The shark of the gym, um, am I right? Thank you, Jim oh Shark, for sponsoring this moe. That was the first sort of brand deal I got that sort of um, stopped the worry a little bit, you know, because things were getting a bit... 
Absolutely, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, Muddy in the waters. Yeah, so, and then I started really getting myself fit again, trying to look after myself. So... Brian, you are looking sh- good, by the way. When, yeah, when you, you do that shoulder yeah, press. Yeah. Hello, hello, b Rye. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Oh, he can do that now. Oh, he can make his tits man. dance. Wow. I can't. Look at those. Go on, uh, so shout, out, bed. shout out to Gymshark. We love you. I lost right. to, yeah. I lost to my mate in a, in a fucking arm wrestle and oh, I, uh, I sprained my shoulder. Fucking mm. embarrassing. Happiest moment of 2020, Stephen. Not that. Um, oh, just staying with my girlfriend <laughs> She's a good girl <laughs> Set the bar high Stephen What's Thank your you relationship like? I, I like that Thank little picture Zoe. of you um, on the bed together mm. Oh she's it beautiful wasn't, uh, It was They were just Just, like, the, just the, the private one you sent just Between the, us She <laughs> makes me happy every day what's, so. what's your relationship like? What, what, like what, on beautiful. a daily basis Are you two just sort of joking with each other or Yeah pretty much Honestly, it's, it's a it's a very good relationship. I can't complain. Yeah, she brilliant. makes me happy every day. So mm. here to Zoe. Here's to Zoe. To Zoe. Zoe. Here's, to, yeah. here's to Elliot Hackney off camera. Yeah, here's to who's Elliot a bit. He's a man beautiful who makes man. Us all happy to all the blowjobs, Elliot. Am I right? <laughs> and Fiona, who's off camera as well. <laughs> to all the blowjobs, Fiona. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm all right, Lauren. Not, not from Fiona. <laughs> I can't. in my mouth. Yeah. Fiona does not give me a blowjob. I made that clear. That's Elliot not, does. Hang on, let's not rule it Elliot out. Elliot does. <laughs> Zoe's a very jealous girl. Zoe currently has her head in her hands in like just misery thank right, you okay. Stephen so uh, Alex happiest she, moment she's had her head in worse Alex it's fair to say it's been, I mean I, I don't think you can say this but I think it's been a very mixed year for you mm. am I right in saying that yeah it's been a weird year mm-hmm. um, it's been a weird year for us all. Uh, can I be honest it's been a weird one to observe from the outside of you because for there's a very been long no festivals <laughs> It's just when you come alive. Oh, all the time. Oh, God. The funny thing is, actually, knowing you, I've, I think this is the year probably, obviously, you and I don't spend a lot of time together. We do spend football time together. Spend more time than most people. Yeah. <laughs> but you are a very Sorry. nice person to spend time with. <laughs> but I think also it's been, it, you you have had a, 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 by comparison to other years, probably quite a, a hard and bad year where it's been like, there's been a lot of people being quite, um, harsh. What can I say like harsh on you, like quite difficult. Thank you, Chase. And I also think when you're then left on your own after that in lockdown, I like respect to you for coming through it and then making it into a positive because I think a lot of people just sort of go, no, my narrative is negative and I'm just going to be. Well, I, I think my year was a year of reflection, right. really. That's just beautiful. Looking, I, I was looking beautiful. at absolutely everything I was doing. But you I see, was, I, I was just being like, am I? truly happy doing this because I was mainly just doing everything out of fear all because the we, time. we even saw that football like I think you can see week to week you can see when you're at football you can Up see when you're downs, happy yeah. and you can see yeah. when you're sad like you can gen- genuinely I think if you like if you've got a group of mates that you play football with it's very true you yeah, can yeah. see in that week when someone's having a good week or a bad week because yeah. when they miss something then they go oh, their, fuck their heads out of it yeah yeah exactly it's or if you true. miss something and you're having a bad week you'll be like fucking hell like I really you can see the weeks when you were frustrated what's going on with Sadie and Marnie right genuinely <laughs> That's a great question. No, that's not a kickoff. But it, it was a weird one to watch because I think a lot of people are like, fuck, like what's going on with you a little bit? Like uh, I oh, maybe I feel the exact same. So. Right. But and yeah, that- for me, I, I think the whole year was um, big, just learning experience, really figuring out who I am because it, because it was very easy. Give him a hug. It's very easy with YouTube, as we were saying earlier, with people like Jeremy Lynch when you're doing really well. Just be like, just, just be like, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, it's just on your ca- mic, not mine. I'll just carry on doing what I've always done, and that will be it. And I just accept, and this is what I'll do. I just do it forever. But I was, for this year, I was like, I need to take a step out and really just be like, what do I actually want to do? Because it's yeah. so easy to get caught up in this whole thing can I just say doing the, stuff. Yeah, the yeah. boys well, yeah, as, especially. as short as like, especially with the Bake Off and the, the art challenge you did with Lawrence it shows you off as more of a personality not mm. like a not well, like I, I, I still think that's why yeah, I stopped, it's, it's I stopped very good for you I stopped uploading on the main not necessarily because I ran out of ideas I had so many ideas but because I was like I'm clearly so much happier on there yeah and almost in a weird way doing that was great but it we, almost highlighted and, and now how, you're happier I should think we shout out Will and E as well who would yeah. have been there yeah. I yeah. think it's a good time to bring out a very good year. so yeah, can we just get out of and the team yeah. I mean, he just walked into a wall <laughs> no he's brain dead bless him <laughs> <laughs> so but, no, it's, Jack though I was saying mm. e-boy stuff for me well uh, yeah Hmm. Very did, good year for you, Jack. You did hit 10k, moment. by the way, on Twitch. Thank my happiest you. moment is not the Spotify thing at all. Like, my happiest moment is... Um, Funny out Liam Payne's favourite meal, dude. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it was a tuna sweet corn, mental. But my happiest moment is uh, being With being cucumber. employed by my lifelong club, West Ham United, to become a... Oh, yes, yes, lad. So, forever blowing bubbles. It's fair to say, Jack. It's fair to say, like, you've been through, and I think most of us have observed it, like, you've been through... 
been through the quite YouTube change. ringer. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Like you've yeah. a few years ago, you were quite sardonic, quite sort of uh, cynical, mm. quite sort of. Um, he's happier generally, isn't he? Mm. You do seem a lot happier. Generally, it's a bit yeah. of a shame, really. I prefer him when he's a miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can turn it on for but you. There mate, must also, you but there must also <laughs> oh, be yeah. an element of you which does go like. What it, it's very difficult to change fundamentally in that way mm. in such a short space of time because yeah. you you and I both notice it. We've obviously we watch a lot of your videos, we listen to your podcasts. We've noticed a difference in your demeanor and even the way that you treat things, the way you treat subjects, all that kind of stuff. Like, has that been a conscious change for you? I think it was weird because people that knew me well was always fascinated back in the day how I'd be able to slag people off yeah. when they knew me, and like people would meet me and go, "You don't actually give a shit." I've never really given a shit about things. The ultimate goal has been to have a laugh. Right. And I became this guy that was would slag people that, off. That is and, a and, different vibe though to your videos. Yeah. You yeah. would accept that, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know how I fell into that category. I think I the first time I ever slagged something off, I think it did well, so I just kept doing it. Right. Yeah. And then ultimately I'm I'm to my core, I think I'm a nice person. But you and can't I'm, do comedy and yeah. be like that. Exactly. So you have to either pick one or the other. Exactly. Tell that. Comedy, Tell that. Comedy, is inher- comedy is inherently negative, isn't it? Well, really? well this well, is the thing. I, I, Miami, I, I grew up with my dad. He's one of the funniest people I I, I know and never and, met him. And, 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 <laughs> me. and he would he would watch the, the TV and make comments about it and they'd always You've been framed they'd, 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 they'd always be negative but they'd always be funny because it's Hill. funnier to be negative about things of course. Right. yeah and then I met Fiona and she was like she drilled it into me like you can't always be negative about everything it'll weigh you down so I actively well, tried I was to waiting be her down, mm. <laughs> so I to be fair that must actually be, be quite difficult in a, to be in a relationship with someone who's always going oh here's the Here's the negative side of that. Exactly. Or here's and the she, funny. Yeah, she's yeah. one of the most positive, cheerful people you'll ever meet. So mm. it was like... If so it's her fault he's not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, exactly. Merry yes. Christmas. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. Merry Christmas. To be fair, though, the other night, you, I, well I think done. you do... It does, there are still elements of your personality which are still quite sort of... I'm uh, cynical. Of course, yeah, yeah, cynical. Yeah. Because even the other night, you posted a photo of yourself with her and you were like, but my fantasy football team is this. And I, I was did like, love that. But the focus is really the photo of you with her. But then you're going, but my fantasy football team is pretty shit. Thanks to my photos of That was a That was a... Conscious deci- decision to make it a bit more neggy. Do you right. know what I mean? Because I, because I am a positive person. Mm-hmm. But how does the Jack make persona survive yeah. if I'm not sagging things off? It's anymore? a really, to be fair, yeah. it's a really mm, that. in a many in many ways it's like quite a brave decision to make because mm. I also think a lot of channels people come to you for the the vibe, the persona, all these things. Yeah. And for a lot of people, it's very difficult. You you know this as well mm. to like change your persona. Yeah. And go, oh, I'm going to do this now, and you're going to come with me. Yeah. Like you know that. I, like, I, I just, just, scary. I, I, just, I can't scary continue change. to call people out unless I can make it funny. So I have DMs all the time going, "This person's done this. This person's done that." If I can't make it funny, like a lot of people say, the biggest problems on YouTube, the biggest issues, I don't touch on them. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. That summarizes it because I can't make it funny. Yeah. If somebody does something small. The advent calendar from right. Zoe, it's, right? It's, it's, it's yeah, not it's a comical. big deal. It's oh, not yeah. another one this year. But it's, it's big deal for her. Right? To be fair, the reason but, she stopped it was probably that video. Yeah, so but, that's, but the, yeah. it's, it's not well, a big deal. Chat, whether, whether you want to buy the calendar or not, don't fucking buy it. If I it's don't want to buy it, mate. But, but the reason why it did well for me is because I genuinely find it funny. Mm. If somebody goes out tomorrow and fucking kills someone, I'm not going to go and put them in rank bank. Funny, video. it's a bigger issue, isn't it? So as long as I can continue to depends on how they kill them. He's looking at you, chicken. Cock fight, that's yeah. very different. If it's a Belle Delphine butt plug, then I'll probably right. make a video. Can we, do you think they kill that? people? Mm. Just say, so, uh, sorry, she gave you a used butt plug. Did you, she say it was used by her? It, it was the one. Oh, yeah, it was. There, there, there's a video that went viral on Twitter of her. She, she made, she like um, glued a fidget spinner to it. Yes. She puts it in her arsehole and she flicks the fidget spinner. Right. And uh, Flick your bee, not the <laughs> fidget spinner. <was. laughs> Great video. What is this amateur hour? Yeah, no, it was that. It was that same one that was in the video. So, so. Wow, that must yeah. be worth a lot of money. Yeah, and that was the highlight of his yeah. man. You got bad clout. The highlight of this year. <laughs> the highlight of this year. Are you alright, Stephen? <laughs> Stephen really is a light. If you, if, if you just say me to some sort of uh, medical, <laughs> Stephen's had like Stephen, six Stephen. or seven. We'll, we'll put a pop plug can, in you. Can we'll I just it. say, I love my girlfriend because she'll watch this and this is the redeeming factor I get from it. <laughs> Stephen, uh, Merry Christmas. If, if you're watching uh, Zoe, Zoe. Uh, he loves you. You're beautiful. Mm. Um, you're doing far too well to be with mm. me. Brian? I guess we'll just... We'll Shout out, can, I, can I just say how nice Jack. it is, though, to be back on, on the True Jordan Fiona. Christmas? Oh, man, like, I've this is very much I, a, a, a tradition now. I think, like, I think we all thought it wasn't going to happen. I, think we I was, I was worried. I was genuinely invites, worried this week it wasn't going to happen. The invites went out quite late. We were both very busy with other stuff, and yeah. we both sort of went the other way. Well, raising a child... 
He's been he's he's editing. You'll see. Stephen yes. tries. Yeah. A little bit more important, I think. <laughs> not only that, I, I've definitely raised you as um. How many subscribers yeah. has he got? Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, not more. not over a million, I think, Brian. <laughs> yeah, he would have um, if you see his little face. No, nah, thanks for coming, lads. I no, really appreciate cute. it. Yeah, thanks for coming on again, mate. Can Fiona just make a second of a? Can, no, she's just for a second. No, oh, she's she just loves shy, it. Blessed. She won't do it. And Mia would do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. She looks yeah. lovely. She's she's yeah. all done. You look love. beautiful, she looks fantastic. Love. You look beautiful, love. Why do you make yourself up like that? And then why come he, on camera. Why has he said yeah. love? Yeah. Oh. Sexist. How <laughs> we keep the butt plug in? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if anything, it helps you get up. I've got, wow. I've got. I've got. I've got. I've got a butt plug on, Mr. Potato Head. And my mate pulled it off. The engineers came around the other day. The the electricians. They're fucking staring at Mr. Potato Head. With a butt plug on the side. What the fuck's going on? And I'm going, mate! I've lost him. I've stop lost him. looking at the butt plug, okay? You're the hits of the electrics, not the butt plug. <laughs> Forget that. You're not going to connect the butt plug to the fucking Mr. Mr. Head. I've lost I him. I did um, that for a Simon video. I did that to make Toby just laugh. So, Merry uh, Christmas. This, this has been the, uh, the True Johnny podcast <laughs> Christmas special. Here's to you, uh, Big Star 123. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button. We'll see you next Christmas. Yeah, yeah. maybe not after Cheers. that. I'll maybe be not. here. I'll oh. be here. No, you're alone. Cheers. Alone. Right now, the podcast's done. Get the no, fuck no, out. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 oh, man.